Hello and welcome to Long Beach by Night, season two, episode one. No Irish need apply. Let's meet our vampires. Hi, I'm Miley Damage and I play Lula Castile. I'm Xander Genere and I'm here playing Joseph Pander. Sam Jalef, I play Reese Keegan. Oh, I'm D'Artagnan Italiano, and I play Alquist Lucier. I'm Ash Minnick, and I'm playing Vi Vicente. Hi, I'm Alquin Gersh, and I am playing St. Valentine. And I'm Bide Walters, playing literally everyone else. Uh, as independent content creators, we rely both on your generosity in the form of bits and tips, which we of course appreciate, but also by supporting our sponsors who make this show possible. So, uh, we have several new sponsors this season thank you uh first is dogmite games dogmite makes a ton of kick-ass gaming gear for all your tabletop needs with over 30 thematic sculpted designs they're sure to have the perfect screen for your games check them out at dogmite.com i have seen the beautiful thing they're making for me i long for it too touch and too hold. <laughs> it is, it's super cool. Uh, also, uh, it wouldn't be a vampire show without Backblaze. Uh, we now have backblaze.com forward slash Long Beach by Night. Yev is canon. Yeah, Yev is canon. <laughs> Yev is canon. Will Yev show up here? Who knows? I appreciate it. I feel like Yev should show up and be like, you guys look really familiar. You know? We're like, mm, we don't though at all. Like, unrelated. Uh, again, Backblaze is simple online backup. No gimmicks. Uh, it's $6 a month on Mac and PC. You can back up your movies, music, photos, fanfic, art, anything the Second Inquisition would want to take away from you. You can make sure you can recover it. Mm -hmm. um, it, it you, we, they've restored over 45 billion files. That is billions of files. Uh, you can recover your data from the web via mobile app for iOS and Android. You can restore by mail. They will physically send you a hard drive that will restore your data. And if you send it back to them, they'll refund the money for it. Um, so, yeah, fantastic. It is the simplest way to protect and secure your data. Backblaze.com forward slash Long Beach by night. And last, but certainly not least, something especially near and dear to my heart is Games for Love. Uh, yeah. Games for Love is a kindness oriented 501c3 nonprofit community of gamers for the purpose of easing the suffering of children in life threatening conditions and contribute towards building a sustainable financial future for them. Uh, again, that is uh, gamesforlove.org slash donate. We might have some techno wizardry set up with queue times. If so, I'm sure they will put it in chat now. <laughs> it was hard to think. It's true. I'm sure it was fantastic. I'm sure they just snapped your head back with what just happened there. Whoa. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa. whoa. And with that being said, now on with our vampire story. Through seven terrible years of famine, Ireland's poetic landscape authored tales of the macabre. Barefoot mothers with clothes dripping from their bodies clutch dead infants in their arms as they beg for food. Wild dogs searching for food fed on human corpses. The country's legendary 40 shades of green stained the lips of the starving who fed on tufts of grass in a futile attempt for survival. Desperate farmers sprinkled their crops with holy water and hollow figures with eyes as empty as their stomachs so scraped Ireland's stubbled fields with calloused hands searching for one, just one healthy potato. Typhus, dysentery, Tuberculosis, tuberculosis and cholera tore through the countryside as horses maintained a constant march carting spent bodies towards mass graves. A flotilla of 5,000 boats transported the pitiable castaways from the wasteland. Most of the refugees boarded minimally converted cargo ships. Some had been used in the past to transport slaves from Africa. And the hungry, sick passengers, many of whom spent their last pennies for transit, were treated little better than freight on a 3,000-mile journey that lasted at least four weeks. Herded like livestock in dark, cramped quarters, the Irish passengers lacked sufficient food and clean water. They choked on fetid air. They were showered by excrement and vomit. Each adult was apportioned just 18 inches of bed space. Children were half that. Disease and death clung to the rancid vessels like barnacles, and nearly a quarter of the 85,000 passengers who sailed to North America aboard the aptly nicknamed coffin ships never reached their destinations. Their bodies were wrapped in cloths, weighed down with stones, and tossed overboard to sleep forever on the bed of the ocean floor. Although most certainly tired and poor, the Irish did not arrive in America yearning to breathe free. They merely hungered to eat. 
largely destitute, many exiles could progress no farther than within walking distance of the city docks where they disembarked. This is where we join young Joseph Pander, newly arrived in New York in what we know today as Lower Manhattan, specifically Chinatown. But in this time, Joseph remembers things as being much different. It is the densely populated, disease-ridden, crime-infested slum known as the Five Points. Joseph, your friends Reese, Vi, Alquis, Valentine, and Lula have made the trip with you and have newly arrived along your sides. What would you like to do? All right, everyone. We talked about this, right? We need to f- split up and find the best course of action. We need, we need shelter. Damn it, we need something to eat. Joseph, what do you look like? Uh, I am a bright-eyed young Irish lad, uh, but a little bit gaunt. Um, not fully blue, uh, mm-hmm. as, as we know Pander now, but still the messy mop of red hair uh, smudges uh, dirty, and, and uh, you can see the hunger in his eyes. Joseph, as you look around, there's wild-eyed confusion in your friend's eyes, as for all of you, mere moments ago, you were in a sea cave. It's still going on. The ritual is still going on. Are you alright, dear? No, I'm not alright. What do do you need, sweetheart? Um, What's going on, St. Valentine? This doesn't make a lot of sense. I have lost too much. I see. And you didn't drink the blood, neither did I. Why, Why are we here? As you all you look mean, down what? at each other, while you recognize your friends, you are in tattered rags of someone who probably is, all your worldly possessions are on your person. The only one who's visibly different is Joseph is not the iconic uh, sky blue skin that you're used to seeing in shock orange hair. He looks like a malnourished mortal. And what time of day is it? It is nighttime. Okay, we all we all look pretty much the same except for... Joseph, so this is... What do you mean? Is this your memory? St. Valentine, don't tell me you've turned to cannibalism. It got that bad? What? You've been drinking blood of other people? That can't be healthy. (laughs) This is amazing! What? It's not yet. Uh, What was it that you said about needing us to go somewhere or do something and split up a a plan? Why do we need a plan? We should play along with this. We should definitely play along with this. What? Mm, I agree. We're here. We're we're in New York. We need to find a place to stay. We need to get jobs. We need to to, to create a living. What? Oh. Yes. What year is it? It's 1850. Okay. What year would you think it would be? Have you been drinking the seawater, all of you? Uh, rough day, right? Rough it's, it's month. Been a, it's been rough. It's uh, taking it out on all of us. We should yes, look for things, I you know. Agree. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for a place, right? A place to stay. Mm. That was you said we needed a place to stay. All right. Yeah. Reese is being living. nice to me. Now I know something is up. What is wrong with all of you? What time of day is it? Night. Oh. <laughs> is it night? <clears throat> there, there is no visible clock. Again, everything is is shoddy and worn in in wooden in mud streets. You hear the odd clop of horse hooves. You hear um, gambling and carousing coming from a nearby building as piano plays and people laugh and it's. There are no sounds of the modern era. Joseph, I don't know that splitting up is the best idea for us right now, but wherever you think we should go, we'll go. Yeah. Well, uh, at this time, most people would be at the saloon or uh, at, the, at the pub. All right. The way? Yeah, let's go there. Sounds like a, a fun, fun time to relieve some stress. Yes. Well, we're here to work. We need to find anything. Dishwashing, scraps. Perhaps we can check the back for any sort of food. Right. <clears throat> Speaking of that, are our hunger levels the same as they were in the cave? Reese, as you think <laughs> back to like, you're like, oh, I was going through some things. Yeah. <laughs> you look down at your leg and it's healed. 
in that clawing, gnawing hunger that has become the reality of your existence is gone. You feel a different hunger you haven't felt in a long time mm. of just a stomach that is turning in knots. But the beast is gone. We need to get to the pub and get some food. Uh, can I try to uh, utilize Eyes of the Beast? Your eyes flash red, like always, Vi. And the night lights up. Do I see anything? Uh, anyone noticing us? You Give me your uh, wits and awareness. Okay. Uh, I'll do some stand and seek as well. Absolutely. Give me and your I'm, wits and all specs. And I'm not rolling any hunger dice? Uh, not for that, no. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alquis, as you look out over this gross and fetid scene mm-hmm. of garbage and decay and alcohol and detritus, it's ugly, but it doesn't sting your soul like it used to. Like, you're aware. You're like, ugh. But <laughs> Disgusting. It, but it, it used to offend you on a primal level that you don't feel. That's interesting. Uh, Seven with a message. You see ghosts wandering around, as you would come to anticipate. Uh, many of them look just like all of you. Some of them are laying on the docks. Some of them are crawling through the streets, like still desperately trying to beg for one last scrap. Essentially, they don't realize that it's too late. This is a sad and miserable place. Um. This is very depressing. It would seem that the dead here are in just as desperate as the situation as the living. Um, and I don't think they quite get what's happened or their fate. Um, hmm. I got five successes, one critical. Across the street, a group of guys are absolutely staring at you. They still seem... Uh, Dirty as people of the era that you know spend all their days out in the mud, and dirt. <clears throat> but they've clearly bathed <laughs> recently, at least. You know, their mm. shirts have their buttons <laughs> and they're all wearing uh bowler hats and they're very much kind of like leaned on a nearby porch of a building. I look in your direction, the rest of you do not see this because they would be under the cover of darkness. I'm going to return my eyes to normal Mm -hmm. (laughs) because, you know, masquerade. Mm -hmm. Uh, What? (laughs) We we should, uh, we should get going. All right. We've got, um, we should get going. All right. I'll make my way towards uh, where I know to be a local pub or, um, you have never been here. Right. So I'm following like the sounds of the night, uh, sort of finding where people are filtering in and out and sort of, uh, you can see me, Doing sort of the the um, what's it like a tourist guide type of thing to all of them, and so uh, I, as we're doing this, I'm sort of explaining. All right, here we're gonna go over this one more time. All right, everybody's gonna be begging for scraps. Everybody is gonna be wanting some food and some work, but we could give it to them with a show, right? We get inside, we 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 start a fight. But we know how to handle the Irish. We become the tools they use to defend their establishments. Right? Right? So we cause a scene, and then we resolve the scene. We get hired, and that's that. All right, I'm not getting beat up. I really want to establish that right now. Right? That's not the role that I'm having in this. No, <laughs> I'll fight you. How's that? Are, are, well, then I have I'm to sorry. beat you up? Are we, Lula. We're not fighting each other, are we? When you turn and look at St. Valentine, his aura glows and sparkles without the grayish mist in aura of death that hangs around all kindred. Reese and Pander, the same. They're all alive. Vi and Alquis 
are exactly what you expect to see. The dull, muted colors of the kindred. Dull is the word I would use. It's quite remarkable. Yeah. The fighting? What, what, what are you seeing, Lola? <clears throat> um, how do I put this? Um, you're like, you're sparkling. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> okay. You too. Um, oh my dear, it's uh, uh, not you too, so. I always sparkle, no, my it's dear. Oh, what, uh, is it you're what does old? that mean? It's because you're old. Well, I don't know. Um, they said that they didn't partake in the ritual. Uh, and we did. Maybe it's something to do with that. Are you sparkling? Yeah. Am I? Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say that that's probably a good assumption. Yeah. What, what does it usually mean when people sparkle? Twilight. Um, it's like, it's, it, it, oh it, god, it, you it don't know that. Life, right? It's a, a remembrance, like an, an echo of, of something. To, to something a little more alive than what um, in we are late and we are starving. Yeah. What is the hold up, Lula? Uh, d- sorry, dear, you know, <clears throat> but it's just my uh, ailment. I, I do apologize. I understand. We'll get you some medicine soon. Oh, thank you, dear. Say, <laughs> Valentine, when she says this out loud, you're like, no, wait, well? Yeah. It's, it's like when you feel a headache and you don't even know when it arrives. You just <sighs> kind of become aware of it. That there's just a bone weariness that you, as a stage performer, had long since mastered discomfort. But it you put it on like an old, ill-fitting coat. Your body aches, your muscles are sore, your stomach growls, huh. your nose runs. This is what wow. it was to be alive. Val, is there any way you can test one of your powers uh, uh, on the on the down low, as it were. Yeah. What is? Are, are you are you implying that I can't do the opposite? <laughs> tell me what. Tell me what you want me to do. You do have I, a bit of a too much. Chin, I, I I just want to. <clears throat> I have a theory. Okay. Yes. No. Just please. Just could. <clears throat> I I just want to make sure you still have your powers here. Oh. Oh. Okay. So anyone any one of them would do. Hmm. I want to try to activate Sense the Unseen as well. Nothing. <laughs> now, I'm never as good at this as Lula, but I feel like I don't see anything, so that's... What are you talking about, Team Fat? Did you forget all of your magic tricks? We, we're we were banking on that. We're walking. We're, we'll go. We'll go. <clears throat> you know, it's hard, hard month. This did, I'm sure I'll have fancy sleight of hand. This. Right. I mean, I can still do that stuff. <laughs> you all start making your way down the muddy side street. And you feel an alternative mix of hope, but desperation. You know, uh, Lula, you spent all of your mortal life and a significant part of your kindred life in New York. But this was definitely before your time. But even as you walk, you see some landmarks that are familiar, but this wasn't that close to the docks. You know, you're like, wait a second. This wasn't, like we should, hmm. It doesn't quite fit together. Uh, Something seems not quite right. It could just be my memory. It was so long ago. Um, and mm. for the most part, this is around the time that um, my parents, uh, grandparents even, were probably here. Um, but it's Lula, a, you've got family here? Uh, um, uh, it's a, a, you, maybe. I've been looking for them for a very long time. We'll get to that later, though. You're right. There's other things that are more important. I well, just it, thought I'd throw that this out. Isn't, this isn't a real place. This is based on Pander's memory of this place. But we don't know if something happens to us in this fake place if it really happens. 
I mean, probably not. Or it's Inception Girls. We don't know. We don't. This what is does that mean? mean? Frat, just fire you from now. Ugh. Just be careful. All right, everyone. So we're going to be starting the fight, and we need to make sure to end the fight, all right? All Anyone right. that you take out, is find out if they're carrying anything on them, but try not to kill anyone. Um, you know, I don't think we have to... I won't go that hard. Right. I don't think you can go that hard right now. Even though, at this time, you were had already struck west... You remember this. You're like, no, this is this is what it was like. This is what buildings were like. This is what it smelled like in the streets. This this was the world. Yeah. I don't like it. No, it's terrible. Honestly, you'd forgotten how bad it was, really, in the wonderful modern era. Even though you like to strike out to the forest and you resist the pavements and electricity and everything being so safe and sanitized, this is a harsh reminder of how rough it used to be. Do you not drink the water? Let's just do what we gotta do to get out of here. Which is helping Pander Joseph. Let's have him fight. Yeah. Reese? Yeah. You're up. <laughs> yeah. You all uh, a- a- approach um, a building. It's got uh, a very terrible approximation of saloon doors. Is someone who heard something who heard something. Uh, they're like, this must be what it's like. <laughs> it was just sort of like blocky squares that you kind of have to push. <laughs> and you very much hear like a people reveling inside. Having a great time. Are you fighting is the best way to go? We're here to protect them. We need to show them that we're worth something. How else are we going to do it? We talked about this for months. <laughs> I'm sure we did. Um, <clears throat> we're helping people, Vi. By I'm just, maybe we should get a lay of the land before we start a fight. We don't have any time left. I'm going to die if I don't get something to eat. We're all in this together. And the stakes are that high. I'm not going to be fighting you my best if I don't get something to eat soon anyway. We gotta do something. We gotta do something. (laughs) How were you at at fighting before? Uh, wasn't the thing I did the most, but I had some crossover skills. How are you feeling now? Faint. We I'll gotta go now. I'll, I'll start a fight. What? Alquis, <clears throat> in this time of history, <laughs> where would Alquis have been? Uh, I am in Oregon. <laughs> so, try to be a gold miner. <laughs> Same here from today, I have turned into the Alquis now. This is, uh, again... You remember the frontier. This is a different frontier, to be sure. Mm. But especially this, um, seeing this saloon or speakeasy gambling hall, one thing you know, Alquin, is you're like drunk Alquis. Uh, <laughs> drunk Alquin Alquin. 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 You did this to us. I did Who is that? Yourself. You did. This. <laughs> you did this to uh, all of us. Alquis, you know, drunk, desperate men are drunk, desperate men. It's true. <clears throat> yeah, I think we should. It'll be fun. Are, are, okay, so um, remind me of the plan. Are we meant to just start a fight with a stranger, or what? Yes, with, with with someone in there, or if, if there's no one in there, with ourselves. We just need to prove that we're strong enough to 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 defend. I bust their saloon doors like a western movie. I'm, I'm right there <clears throat> behind. Oh, Give me your swing. strength and roll, or subtract three dice. From my core stats, all right. Mm-hmm. Cool, let's go. You are in fact starving. Yeah. Who not? Let's you, test. You all see Reese walks up and is like, <sighs> <laughs> and is like, <laughs> well, that's our cue. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. Reese, that's fine. <clears throat> you forgot this mortal 
squishy flesh when you hit things it hits back mm -hmm. it is just like oh Stoic, 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 stoic. Act natural. Yeah. Ah. Mm, so natural. Too um, natural. Ugh. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to look out for, for uh, problem customers with uh, the knowledge of, of what problem men were like at this time. Give me your wits and awareness again to get the lay of the place. It's a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to sneak into the back where they might possibly have... Uh, some food scraps lying around. Uh, give me your dex and stealth, because if I recall, you do not have any type of obfuscate, right? No, but I have a lot of dominance. Right, you're gonna, <laughs> gonna try and be sneaky, yeah, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, one to five is a fail. Six to ten is a success. One and ten are no, no, I know. I'm just <laughs> trying to. That, okay, so oh, that is at least one crit there. Yeah, well, I've got two. Well, three crits. I've got a one and two tens, plus uh, three more successes. So uh, that is seven. Now. Cool. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Sorry. Vi, immediately when Reese is like, boom, you see all over the place. Knives come out, guns come out, uh, men and women just turn and like look immediately, and you do not see fear on a single face <laughs> in the joint. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Literally everyone is like, hmm? <laughs> like everyone is armed. Um, and does anybody just look like somebody that, that maybe the, the owner of the establishment doesn't like here? Hmm. No one seems to like leap out. In fact, with that many successes, I would say you also notice, uh, the bartender looks completely unfazed mm -hmm. and there is a table in the back of three men and a woman playing cards who don't react at all. Hmm. Um... Do I recognize any criminal organizations here? Is there any reason Vi would know anything about the socio-political climate of 1850s New York? Not New York specifically, <laughs> no. Yeah, but it's, it's the same that. everywhere. I'd know more about the West Coast. You can give me your wits and streetwise. Uh, Lula, how did you do on your decks and stuff? Oh, absolutely no success. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like Lula is trying to sneaky walk <laughs> as everyone in the place is like... Watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you don't know that they know. You know, you're like, you, you got it. It's fine, Lula. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it, it is fine. Yeah. Okay. I have uh, one success. It was a critical, but just one. They all look shady as hell. Okay. Although, you do notice none of them are dressed like the men you saw outside. Golly. Those guys all were dressed similarly. None of With these the people bowlers. are dressed like that. No bowlers in the park. No bowlers in the park. <laughs> Joseph, what do you do when you stumble uh, upon this scene? Well, for now, I, I'm going with what I thought was the plan. And while mm -hmm. the, the doors are open, mm -hmm. I'm sort of going to slink in and, and make my way towards the bar. As if to blend in with everybody else. Mm -hmm. And so I will also pull out my pocket knife. Okay. What does your pocket knife look like? Uh, it's a switchblade, uh, and actually it's it's a, a relatively short curved blade, uh, but the handles, uh, you can see, are rust-colored for some reason. It might not be actual rust, or it could be age, or it could be dried blood. Okay. All right. You slide it out. Reese, all eyes are on you. Yeah. Uh, I want to find an open seat. I'm not scared. Uh, yeah, find an open seat. If it's at a table with someone else, that's fine. Okay. And I'm going to sit down, and I'm sure that won't be a problem that starts a fight. <laughs> and what is St. Valentine doing? I think I want to walk through the saloon doors, and I'm going to try to remain, I'm going to try to look kind of detached and, like, I, like casual, like, yep. like I don't really care, you know? <laughs> Act casual. <laughs> Act casual. Yep. And then I'm going to look around and just, I'm going to try to take in as much information as I can mm -hmm. about these people. Uh, Same thing. Give me your wits and awareness. And what is Alquist? What are you going to do? Uh, I would like to find the biggest and baddest person in the bar. And uh, I'd like to sit down right next to them. From the physically largest person you can see in the place is one of those people that is playing the game of cards who does not acknowledge you all in any way when you come in. We're all in rags, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're not, like we're poppers not rags. Oh, yeah. No, like you newsies. all literally look fresh off the boat. I got uh, two successes <clears throat> and a crit. Oh, so the... Six, six, and ten. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a it's a crit when you have two tens. Oh, okay. okay. So that's gotcha. that's three successes. Three successes. Okay. Um, the one thing that you notice is most conspicuous is there's a dead rabbit nailed to the wall. Mm-hmm. An actual rabbit nailed to the wall. Interesting. Would we know what that means? I do. <laughs> but do you? A culture. A, a different a, culture, not yeah. a history class. I, I, I will say, I'm young. if Reese is a student of history, you may... Fuck no, may I'm not. a student of movies with Leonardo DiCaprio in them. <laughs> if you believe this is something Reese would recognize, then it is something Reese would recognize. I tend to think of people of the same age cohort... Any of my characters probably have more culture than I do. <laughs> As I'm going to say, quite frankly, knowing so many references that Sam gets, I yeah. would say the race. I'm, I'm willing to credit line. this one. I'm mm-hmm. good for this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to head for the bar and follow. <laughs> Can you see Reese get really excited? Yeah. Uh, yes, Luba. I would like to uh, possess the biggest man sitting next to uh, Alfred. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> and Please both do it. <laughs> Uh, possess the man to punch Alquist. Yes. God, can I possess <laughs> them first to punch her? <laughs> you all. Should have been quicker. Than you son of a. <laughs> you all notice that with this man, you all, because um, I, I will say that you both have this idea kind of like at the same time that you're like, ha! Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's like, oh. You hit each other in the mind. <laughs> I mean, then you just swap each other. It's well, yeah. Friday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you both succeed, it, it still accomplishes the goal of getting these two people to punch each other. <laughs> what so. you all realize is, you know, mortal minds are soft. You just like mm. do this, and it just works on them. When you all kind of extend your senses, it's like a brick wall. Mm. This man has a mind that you cannot penetrate. Well, shit. I continue <clears throat> to sneaky walk by. As you <laughs> sneaky walk by, Lula, the bartender looks at you and is like, Fuck are you doing here, lass? Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, I was looking for um, a job as perhaps a chef or waitress. Why? Why can you make a, like, a, the chipped beef like me ma used to do? Uh, probably not, but I'm sure I could learn. Oh, well, what good are you? Uh, not an hour goes by that we don't have some, like, starving drags washing in from the streets here begging for scraps or work or something or other. What can you offer me that you didn't already have? Uh, and I'm going to use Dominate on him. Uh, okay. Mesmerize. hmm And tell him to hire me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what exactly do you say to him? Uh, you're going to hire me, dear. Oh, you're fucking hired! Come on around here, grab a rag, start to get to work. It's a uh, this um, I uh, maybe we'll have to get some proper clothes for you, Jesus. Oh, Joseph Mary. drops his knife. Yeah. in surprise. Yeah, <laughs> like Jesus, I can't have you like this. Like, look, you know, people feel like you're getting the your your fleas and pestilence in the food, though. You're gonna feel like you be in the back. Go, 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 be in the back. Oh, oh, uh, oh, wait, uh, real quick, dear. And I grab his hand one more time. And go. Uh, you're going to hire my friends as well. Uh, who do you point at? Uh, the, the ones I can see at this point, mm-hmm. so all of them. <laughs> He's like, Hurry, show I'm fucking hired. It's fine. It's like, so I'll think of something for you to do. Yeah. Um, I let go of the chair I was about to sit down at with the guys who were mean mugging me <laughs> and look over to Lula at the bar. You catch more flies with sugar here. Yeah. Um, I, I like this plan better. Sweet. Right when you say that, you hear, <laughs> Oi! Nobody ran this past us. And in I pick the up my knife. doorway, <laughs> you see the men that you saw by. Oh, no. There. They There's do have a criminal element to them. <laughs> six of them. Again, now that you all the see bowler hats, their, their bowler hats, petticoats. <clears throat> again, they look maybe one rung higher on the social ladder than you all are. Hmm. But at least, the, you know, their their faces are filthy, but not hollowed out and starving. <clears throat> you know? And what do we have to do to prove ourselves to you? He literally looks down at the doorway and kind of like looks back at it. And he's like, step outside and talk to us. Okay. Bye. 
I, I mean, I don't outside. think anything that happens in a dead rabbit's bar is any concern of yours. And when you say that, uh, the man who's next to you sort of like slaps you on the on the arm and is like, ah, fucking right. Yeah. But the guy's like, ah, you're saying you're cowards then. you yeller. Ah, you hear that? The new ones washing it off the streets is yeller. Well, with that, I can't hear it from in here in the bar. Come in here and say that again. Mm -hmm. That's the worst thing. The ocean washes all its trash up on the shores. I'm seeing it right now. Yeah. I don't know, fucking right. <laughs> like, like Stein started wearing <laughs> racist <laughs> mugs. And he pushes his coat back and he pulls out a long knife and a cudgel, like a stick with a knob on it. And he goes, Oi, mate, you there. Come on, let's do it. I'm gonna shut your mouth up, I will. I look back to the people who are playing cards. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of mood are they in? They have not changed anything. It's like they're like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> you know, call. All right. <laughs> like, Meanwhile, I'm going to pull Lula aside because mm -hmm. I've sidled up next to you. I think the, the, the witchcraft, I'm sorry for not believing in it before, but could you do it again, but on these ones and make them yeah, oh, I, I our friends? And yeah, I could try it. Yeah. Uh, um, excuse me, sir. And, and They're she, outside. She, she'll, she'll walk well, outside. Like basically, you oh you do come outside. Yeah. And does Vi come outside? Uh huh. That you they turned around and they walked into the middle of the street and the one with the knife and the cudgel is like standing and he's yelling like out for everybody. He's like, "Oi, come see these Irish rats want to take over our neighborhood. I'm gonna do some exterminating." Yeah. Uh, I get into that really high, like, old-timey pugilism <laughs> stance, because I don't... Yeah. I, I works for Cambridge, you know. the cuffs. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Lula. I'll give you a good thumping. <laughs> yes, Lula. Uh, she'll walk up to him. Uh, terribly dead. Stop shouting. It's Donnie, mm -hmm. when you even, like, remotely come his way, you very much see, like, he pulls up the knife in the in the cudgel. Like, the, the, the fact that you are a woman is not registering at all. Like, he's like, you can get it like anybody. I only have to make eye contact with mm -hmm. him, though, right? Mm -hmm. So does it work? Mm -hmm. Assuming. You tell him stop yelling? Mm -hmm. He does. Uh, drop your weapons. Go ahead and roll it for me. Because he has a chance to resist this. Yep. Um, um, that, is going to be, that is going to be your manipulation and dominate. Is he standing on dirt? Mud. Okay, I am going to walk out so that I am also <laughs> standing on mud. Mm -hmm. But like in the shadows. Like when, I'm going to do a little... As, as yeah, you sort of come out, you notice like kind of hit... Because there's six of them. So his buddies have kind of like fanned around. And you notice all of them are kind of producing sort of like homemade mm -hmm. weapons. Like none of them have any mm -hmm. firearms. Uh, but there's they've got like butcher's knives, crowbars, you know, like bilge hooks. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. just stuff like a working person would have access to. I'm also going to put my right hand behind my back mm -hmm. and pull out my feral weapons. Okay. And it is it is my intention to earth melt. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what's over there? Okay. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, six with a creep. Um, he just sort of looks at you for a second and then he just like drops them. And then he sort of like looks down and he goes like, okay, I'll box you then. Stop fighting, dear. Roll it again. Okay. Very strong will with this one. <laughs> 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 I do feel like we're racist. Is it go time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, six successes. This time he goes, no, no, I don't think I will, and throws a vicious punch that catches you square in the face, Lula. I am earth melding. It has been a long time since someone hits you, and even though you still have your unnatural resolve, he hits harder than a human. Yeah. How much damage do I take? Too superficial, which is enough to bloody your nose. But <laughs> like, I'm in, in, you're more shocked than anything. And you all see Lula's like, no, 
<laughs> and they just tumble backwards. And all five of them rush forward. And you, Earth Meld, and what I, is Reese? I mean, it's on. Mm-hmm. You were supposed to fight me. <laughs> I do not have a choice in whether I fight at this point. Mm-hmm. Do I want to fight? No. Do I have to fight? Yes! <laughs> so, yeah, you all very much see him smash Lula. Yeah, and I would... So, I, mm, strength and Yeah, brawl. and my intention is to come up right behind him. Okay. Yeah. Um, you were in... So you were going to... All right, and uh, what is... Uh, Going to Pander's play. still inside of the bar, and he's going to start uh, riling the people up. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're going to let us insult. You're going to let them insult us like this. We need to stand up for ourselves. Come on! I want to. I want to help out too. All right. What, what are you going to say, Saint Valentine? Do you see how they treat you? They think that. Well, they think we're like animals. We're like animals to them. That we can be herded in the pens like sheep. Are you going to let them bully you? Bully us this way? So. Pander. Yes. You can roll your charisma and persuasion, and you can add two dice due to St. Valentine's hype man. Sweet. Okay, you are uh, dirt diving. What is Alquist doing during uh, all this? I would like to see if there's any uh, weapons that are uh, you know, maybe not being watched right now. <laughs> so if you Preferably are. Preferably firearms. You were at the table with the card players. I was. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, you actually, again, have not seen any firearms. Every weapon that you saw brandished was mostly knives, mm-hmm. sticks. Um, uh, here in the bar, some of these things were a little nicer, where it's like, like clearly like a Bowie knife or something. You know, like definitely a weapon. Oh, I thought you, uh, yo, I thought you did see people pulled out guns. There's no guns? It's all like knives and billy clubs. The people stuff. outside, definitely no guns. The people inside, maybe guns. I didn't intend guns. Maybe guns. Either way, Can I no. find the maybe guns? You cannot. Uh, <laughs> there are no unattended weapons. Those are like absolutely like vital, like personal possessions. I mean, I'm mm-hmm. a little drunk. Too. Crazy. <laughs> no, it's yeah. not drunk. But, no, yeah. I'm this bar. Uh, three successes. Uh, three successes total? Yes. Okay. Lots uh, of dice. Three successes. <laughs> <laughs> it bees like that sometimes, my friends. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, no outside, no Reese, uh, what are you doing? Six. I got a very lucky crit on my very hungry crawl. <laughs> uh, Reese, smash Lula, <laughs> smash him. The guy, like, falls back into the into the mud, and you feel like a very satisfying crunch in his nose <laughs> when you hit him, with yeah. blood going everywhere. And your hand hurts so bad. You know what doesn't hurt, though? Stomping. (laughs) I would like to proceed to stomp his face. Yeah. Uh, His friends are going to rush forward at you. All right. uh, Do I dodge on that? So I will let you decide. It's dex and athletics Mm -hmm. if you're just trying to like, woo. And it's uh, strength and brawl if you're more kind of trying to. But remember, subtract two dice because you Uh, are not at peak form. Oh, two? No, it was three earlier. In- it's whatever I say. If I said it was three, it's still three. Okay, cool. You've not- you know what? I'll say two. You got some adrenaline going. Yeah, that's that's I I it's verified. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the reptile brain is kicking in. It does not require food. It's a different beast. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> these guys look like caricatures, but they are actually brutally efficient. They don't hit like them. <laughs> yeah, brutally efficient. And <laughs> as two of them come in at you from different sides, one of them like fakes high, and the second one smashes you across the ribs with his cudgel. And you <laughs> absolutely feel something crack. And the second one comes up and catches you right under the jaw for four superficial. Uh, again, you all see this is clearly not the first time these guys have done this. And Vi, you come out of the mud. like, <laughs> And I'm just going to start... In time to witness that. I'm just going to start killing them all with my claws, uh, werewolf style. Okay. Wolverine style, I should okay. say. Wolverine Strength style. and brawl. Well, no, werewolf is more apropos. Oh, yeah. um, right. Off in the distance, approves. And, oh, oh, no, they are not all right. Like, Lula, you very much see. Like, you, Lula, are kind of getting your bearings in, like, they're like, boom, ah, uh, uh. I, I will scramble over to Reese and try to kind of pull them closer to myself and try and pull us off to the side away from the massacre that I know is about to take place. Okay. okay. Uh, strength and brawl there. Uh, all right. Five successes. Uh, the so two of them have attacked uh, Reese. I assume those are the ones you go after first. Yes. 
<laughs> uh, and the original instigator is on the ground, like yeah, with, with I, a, I, will to, I, I will get to I will get to his. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My my intention is to slice through all of their throats before they can scream. It is very clear that they won't mm-hmm. stop beating Reese. So yes, mm-hmm. um, uh, that is definitely enough to get one of them. So tell me what you do to the guy. Um, basically, so what position are they in? Uh, over Reese. You know the thing when someone goes down and then they just keep hitting them in a big crowd? I basically just grab him with my left hand, grab the back of his his head by Uh his hair, pull his head back, and stab my right hand into his neck. And his eyes look at you and widen. And then I throw him down and then look at the other one. Uh, Of the two, well, I guess there was six of them, the, of the remaining three, like, they kind of, like, stop and look at you, but they don't run. They're just like... Rrr. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, inside, uh-huh. you were... So tell me again what, what, what you're saying to him. Stood up onto a table now. Like, mm-hmm. we need to defend our honor. We need to get out of there and show them that we're not to be pushed around. Yeah! Woo! At the card table... You realize there is a woman that is sitting there playing cards with the rest of them. It kind of took a moment for you to realize this because she's wearing almost like a veil uh-huh. that kind of like very much obscures her face. And she's like, is that so? Hey, you were, we're supposed to go out and meet him on the field of battle. Is that what you're saying we should do? Yeah, unless you're cowards. That's interesting since it seems to me your friends out there getting their fucking clocks cleaned and you're in here talking. What? Hey, you heard me. And I'll rush and over. And they let's, do not look up. Like they're just like, well, let's um, mm. let's play a hand. And if I win, you'll help us. We don't have time for this. They're they're getting. Trust me, it, it's just one hand. It will take long. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Uh, At this I point, sit, I sit down at the table. The crack. The, across from this woman. The the large. So there was three of them playing. Now it's the, the same table. It's all the same table. The large man who originally you all had both intended to possess. When you say, deal me in, he just motions, and when he does, the chair moves back. He's like, curious. This happens right in front of you, Alex. Yeah, sometimes. In uh, St. Valentine, do do you sit down? Oh, yeah. And um, he picks up the deck of cards, and he puts it in front of you, and he's like, Dale, no shady stuff, or I'll cut off your fucking hand. There goes your whole plan. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, commence, shake step. <laughs> and then I'll burst the doors open just to look and see what's going on outside. All hell is breaking loose. Oh. You see Lula trying to like pull Reese, who is clearly injured. Um, but I also love to drive an elbow into the guy on the ground. I'm just right. saying. I'm taking him with me. Oh, you're still in the fight, but uh, yeah, no, you're yeah. beat up. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, oh, yeah. yes. You see Vi is some sort of monstrous, devilish thing is yes. clawing and ripping into people. And the three of them are running towards you by the three remaining fighters, which again, you can give me your strength and brawl to resist if you kind of want to muscle it or dex and athletics if uh, you're kind of going more agile. I'm going to do strength and brawl because that is more dice. That's actually a really great fighter. <laughs> I mean, they're I remember it. <laughs> you remember them being like unstoppable killers. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Give me a hoe kill. I will do. I hit my dice. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a t-shirt. Six. Uh, six successes. Six successes. The three of them come in at you, and again, you know, the first one swings, and you're like, oh, of course, why would I fall for that? And you don't realize the second one is ducked right behind you and jams a knife into your back. That's right. And when you reflexively kind of arch forward, the other one buries one in your stomach (gasps) and just whispers in your ear, welcome to America, sweetie. Of course, you are not dead from this. Yeah. You take a total of four superficial. Uh, that's not counting any fortitude that you might have, but that's already halved. Pander, yeah. you see in a matter of seconds, your friends are down, and you've just yeah. witnessed them just, like, essentially savagely murder your friend in front of you. You have no idea that she's going to survive this. So I quickly close the doors in front of me, turn around and go, 
who's up for some cards then? And I'll walk over to the table. <laughs> <laughs> They're all dead. They're all dead, St. Valentine. Okay, can you deal in, my friend? Mm. You, uh, you, the woman says, oh, the things are going poorly outside is what you're telling me. Yeah, we, we really got to play. Mm. <laughs> she just stands up and she's like, I play a much different game. And when she turns and looks at you, she smiles and all of her teeth are razor sharp. <gasps> mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. She's like, hmm. So you don't want to play cards right now. The big man says, I said fucking deal. And the woman looks at you and says, stay here where it's safe. This looks like woman's work. And turns and starts walking towards the towards the front gates. She's a monster. I'm, She's absolutely a monster, Pander. Are there... Uh, so I, I open up the cards, very a series of incredibly practice movements, and start doing very complex, showy, uh, like, shuffling, with just fans and whirls and all this sort of stuff. And I splay them out and... Flip them all over, and oh, it just looks like waves of shuffle. You can give me yeah. uh, Dex plus performance, because this is your thing. I have three dots in it, and my specialty is stage magic. No, this this yeah. so, <laughs> would all apply. Like this is your thing. Are there any yeah. courses outside? Uh, hang on a second. The cards are kind of rough. Like they're very inconsistent. You're like, yeah. this is not a good deck. Like, what what even is this? Um. I would say, uh, what is it that you would like to accomplish? I would like to have them come over and stomp on the people that are stabbing me. You're going to try and summon horses. Uh, well, no, because if they're there and I can see their eyes, I can just command them. Uh, yeah, I'll, give you, I'll give you a horse that you can make. A, they're, they're, they're sort of like a, like a sad horse kind of making its way sad down horse. the street, you know, towing a cart. He's like, what? 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 Sad. Yeah. He's sad. Um, Lula. You again are gathering Reese, who still is very much trying to scream. There's an open knife yeah, on the yeah, ground. Yeah, and I'm drunk. Like, like, yeah, that's right. You eh, He's lying eh, down. Eh. Everyone else is off of me. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is he gets murdered very easily right now, mm-hmm. and I'm taking yeah. one. You very much. See I get you. one. I want one. Reese wants to stab this dude. <laughs> uh, yeah. the, the, it might not be the best idea. You're not in the best shape. Neither's he. Lula, roll your unspent willpower. There's a lot of blood and violence taking place out here. Vi, I would say you do the same. Okay. A lot's going on. One success. Lula. <laughs> is Reese is like, let me go, I can take him. You're like... <sighs> Maybe they should all die, Lula. <laughs> Maybe they really should just all die. <laughs> With the one success, you can kind of control yourself because Reese's blood is getting all over you while you're carrying so them. But, but, but there's 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 other bleeding dudes around. Um, uh, who are the other? Who's the other closest bleeding dude? Uh, there is one I'm more sure who is still standing right over you because Vi killed the first guy who had attacked Reese. The second guy has turned his attention to Violet, but is still close. And you can see that Reese very clearly is angling to finish like Ground Boy, who is struggling to get up. Uh, Lula will fight into them if she can. Give me your um, strength and brawl. See if you can if you can grab him and bite in. Same thing, Reese. Give me your strength and brawl with the with the two dice penalty mm-hmm. to like basically claw through the mud and be like, eh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Violet. Yes. Um. These guys are astonishing. <laughs> Again. <laughs> well, so well, I'm, mm-hmm. Yes. As there's, I'm basically uh, commanding a horse to to run over and do a little mm-hmm. <laughs> like a trample. Yeah, and just, you know, and to hit just them when, with their hooves. Okay. Uh, the horse comes running. Uh, uh, Lula. Uh, he is going to manage to attack Violet because he'd already done so, but is not paying attention to you at all. So you're very easy, because you were on the ground with Reese, you're very easily able to, like, sink your fangs yeah. into his calf. Yeah, it's not um, is it your intention to feed from him or hurt him? Uh, it is my intention to drain him dry, if possible. Uh, so, Violet. Uh, I, I rolled for the, because uh, it's it's uh, use of feral whispers, mm-hmm. and I got eight successes. Whoa. Um, 
None of them are critical, though. You all, it, Vi, you turn and, like, look at this horse, and it looks at you like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now look at the horse. Now back at me. You, now back at the horse. <laughs> sadly, it's not me. Um, but you all, like, this horse makes this, like, ferocious noise and, like, bucks and, like, throws the cart off and, like, comes barreling your way. But you also see, like, a cloud of pigeons and bats and seagulls and just everything around <laughs> just, like, explodes up and is, like, coming coming this direction. Unfortunately, they will not arrive <laughs> before, uh, again... These of the six, five of them are still in the fight. You do take this one out, but not before he's able to launch his attack on Violet. They are incredibly well coordinated. Mm-hmm. They're amazing. They duck low and are like slashing at thighs and like cracking at knees and things. They are absolutely brutal. And you take uh, six more superficial Violets, specifically two, two, and two accounting for if you have any damage mitigation. They are absolutely all over her. I'm stabbing and breaking and cutting, and, like, it is, like, clearly starting to add up, even as literally all of the nature of New York is coming to uh, to fight for you. And, uh, Reese, what would you get to, like, because the guy is still trying to get up, and you're like, wait, let me ask you one more thing. Yeah, I, I ask him four more things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he rolls over and looks at you, and he's like, fucking Irish. <sighs> You're ruining this place. Native assholes ruin this country every time. Immigrants are what make this country great. Uh, and he fights with you, but you very much are like, <laughs> it, you would give anything for your kindred strength, but you, it's slow, you're like, no, 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 here in the mud, no, like he's, he's as much sinking into the mud as you feel the knife like going in as you're wrestling with this guy. And inside. I got three successes. Meanwhile. On my, uh, on my uh, guardsmanship. Mm-hmm, no, you so have. So I dealt everybody in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm using whatever sleight of hand I can to make sure I have a winning hand. Uh, Alquist, what are you doing during all this? <laughs> I'd like to be dealt in as well. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I don't. No, no, I yeah, dealt. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I dealt anybody who wanted to be dealt in at the table. So mm-hmm. the big man, as he picks up the cards, is like, so "What's your fucking story? What are you doing here?" This work mostly looking for a fine rancher to help me with uh, certain things. No oh, fucking ranchers in New York City, lad. Well, you never know until you look. I think you meant to stay on the boat for about another six fucking months and end up on the West Coast, eh? Well, these beautiful sights here. Curious to see the folk in their indigenous uh, housing. Roll your decks in sleight of hand, by the way. To see, yeah. <laughs> I love that you're saying this in rags. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no. You're like, you look awful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, decks in sleight of hand, St. Valentine. Indigenous? St. <laughs> Valentine. <laughs> decks in sleight of hand to see how well. Uh, St. Uh, words, uh, not just. Uh, uh, you need to stay there. I don't, I don't have sleight of hand. You have larceny? I have larceny. Yeah, decks and larceny. I can't use my, my performance stage magic for this? Well, but your goal is to actually cheat, not look like you're cheating, but to cheat. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that is a With different difference. skill. <laughs> yeah. Um, Alquist. Uh, yes? The man's like, hmm, it's my typical word from someone with shit stains on his trousers. <laughs> you know, everyone poops. <laughs> two, two successes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, since I was dealing, I thought I had just set the deck up just how I wanted to. Uh, again, looking like, like you cheat and actually cheating are two different things. You very much. There's, there's a lot of misdirection in there. No, the performance was beautiful. Excellent plating and presentation. We're talking about the cooking of the meal now. Yeah. See, I feel like it's the same thing if you're misdirecting people with your hands and that kind of stuff. There are some auxiliary skills specific to cheating. Gotcha. All right. Uh, Because you'd have to also have the skill of running the maths of where those cards should go as opposed to the stage magic skill of knowing physically where they are positioned. So I had two successes for that. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm-hmm. You do, in fact, have a winning hand. Excellent. Mm Mm-hmm. So are we ready to play? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Can I activate awe as well? You can. Mm -hmm. I'd like to do that. Yeah. He's like, I I were fucking ready to play. (laughs) Uh-huh. All right. And he pushes all of his money in. He's like, call. 
Sure. All right. You, <laughs> you lay all the cards down, and he's like, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, lad, I got a fucking set on you to come into my establishment and attempt to cheat me. Uh, betting fucking nothing and thinking you'd clear me out. I got to tell you, I like that kind of initiative. <laughs> Great. So this is all mine, right? That is incorrect. And when he looks at you, his eyes turn jet black. Mm, our favorite. Jet black pools. Yeah. He's like, but what I will do is not pull your fucking intestines out and hang you with them. So, for your gumption, he motions again, and a tendril of black comes up and takes five dollars, which is a kingly sum, mm -hmm. and lays it in front of you. He's like, "There's a uh, rewards for gumption." Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, Thanks. This is fun. So, uh, Let's do this again. Ah, uh, we fucking shouldn't. No, not at all. And you, lad. Yes. Again, I ask you, what's your fucking story? None of this makes fucking sense. Look at you. Look at the pair of you. Yeah, it, I met him along the road. It was a, it was a, a long and winding road. <laughs> he looks at you and his eyes narrow, and you see the shadows start pooling around him. And he's like, I don't know how they do it with a fucking Camarillo where you're from. But around here, if you're going to show up with your ghoul and sit down at my table, you should present yourself appropriately. And how would one present themselves appropriately? With some fucking respect. And when he says that, the other man at the table, who hasn't done anything before now, immediately has a knife at your neck. You didn't see him move. He had cards. He had knife. <laughs> Whose neck? His neck? His neck. Okay. I just physically can't yes. reach him. Sorry, it probably looks weird for you all, yeah. but I can't reach him. Sorry. Can, can I activate toughness? Mm -hmm. He doesn't cut you. He just has it at, yes, you I can. Know. Yes. Precautions. Yes. No, he very much just has the blade at your throat. Mm, fun. In Pander, what are you doing? I've been following this woman. So mm -hmm. I saw this woman reveal herself to be a monster, and then she slinked away, and I'm mm -hmm. following along. She goes out and kicks the door open. And it's chaos. A horse is biting and stomping on people out there with a <laughs> madness and like froth that you've never seen. Like birds are swooping and these guys are like trying to like sh like shake and get away from them. And you see Violet standing there with just rage in her eyes and like jagged wounds all over her. She should be dead. Jesus Five Christ! Times over. And you see Lula is on the ground biting into this man who is just laying there. And you see Reese very happily plunging the knife down into this guy's chest in the mud. Violet shouldn't be alive, much less whatever this is. So I'll follow this woman, or I'll continue watching her to see what she does, because I'm terrified of everything right now. <laughs> That's look crazy. <laughs> She walks out and she like sort of like looks around for a second and she just like pushes. You can see she's wearing like uh, what look like almost like robes. And when you push it back, she's wearing actually fairly form fitting leathers with a row of knives all over her. And she just goes. Shh, and everything goes silent. You still see everything that's <clears throat> happening. And she produces three of the knives and. And one of the guys that's running, squaring his back. And then Ooh. at the other one, squaring his back. And she goes, <clears throat> and walks out and looks at you, Vi. And she, like, looks at all the animals and she goes, I might need some of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> she just sort of, like, stops for a second and she goes, and all the sound comes back again. <laughs> the horse is very much like <laughs> jamming this guy down into the ground. Yeah. Is he, is he dead? Oh, the one the horse is stomping on is very dead. Okay, I'm going to go calm the horse. Mm -hmm. is, are there still any more alive? Uh, the, I'd say, yeah. The ones that she uh, she hit with her knives are like dying but not dead yet. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. All right, well, then I'll go slit their throats, and then I'll call the horse. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. You make sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And she walks over, and she, like, looks down at, uh, looks down at you, Lula, and kind of, like, <laughs> picks you up slightly. Yeah. She's like, all right, Mr. Spot, there you go. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. Mm. 
She just looks down and she and hawks a blood loogie and just spits on the guy. You know, fucking Bowery Boys. Deserve better than a god. At least that fucker died happy. I agree. And Lula kind of just kicks him in the head. And she comes over to you, Reese, and kind of like helps you up. And she's like, mm, your goal here is looking kind of the worst for wear. Uh, you should see the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> and she looks down at him and she like <laughs> pulls the knife out of his chest and like twirls it around and hands it to your handle first oh, much flesh she's like <clears throat> she looks at you pander and you race and she's like you all look awful perhaps I could give you like a wee something that will like assist with what you're going through all right, no one's going fucking anywhere until you tell me what's going on. You, I knew you were a witch. What are you doing? And you should be dead. And you, you're Excuse some kind you. of monster. Just, oh, wow. What is happening? What have you done with my friends? What are these monsters? She looks at you and her eyes turn bright red. And she's like, you're a long fucking way from the Emerald Isles, lad. But let me tell you something. I'm just as Irish and just as Catholic as you are. I do not judge me by my appearances. I've become what I had to to survive. I've done what I had to do. And I've come to clean up after your mess because these dead fuckers have a lot of friends. Teach me. Teach me. She looks at you and she's like, mm, you have no use to me now. I can be useful. She holds her hand up and she's got long bronze what you think were claws, but as you see her hands motioning, her nails are really that long mm. underneath them. And she flicks her thumb slightly, and a little bit of blood goes out. She's like, do you remember the Holy Communion, Joseph? Of course. Stick out your tongue, lad. What? Stick out your tongue, lad. And I do. And she dabs just a tiny bit of blood. <clears throat> just enough to turn a mortal into a ghoul. And you feel power returning into your limbs the hunger's not gone but you feel like the old you like you you could hoe an entire field or out wrestle any man you're just like hmm. what is this what and she comes to you reese and she's like it won't be enough to soothe your aches here but at least you take a bit of the edge off same thing reese you know what it's like to feel like a full kindred. It's not that. But a bit, a bit of the power <laughs> returns to your limbs. And it's still my turn. Mm hmm. Oh, it still tastes good. It still tastes good. Mm hmm. Does this bond, Reese? Uh, not usually that amount. Well, I, I well, yeah. yeah. Bye. They're special. You, you know, like this woman turns around, she goes, oh, and just grabs one of the birds right out of the air, just, and drops it like it is just completely drained and soggy and just throws it over her shoulder. She goes, I'm Maggie, Hellcat Maggie, one of the dead rabbits. <clears throat> Who the fuck are you a lot? Uh, we're new. Clearly. <laughs> She's like, all right, but you got to mend yourself here, lass. I kind of take you back into the bar and bleeding your fucking guts everywhere. Mm. And this is the first time, by in the midst of all, you look down like, mm, you'd have been dead four times over <laughs> as a mortal. Like oh, every yeah. every strike was somewhere vital. I'm very close to death right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I'm just still with the horse calming him dying. Mm -hmm. Uh. Do I see? Is there like a confused owner somewhere? If so, he cleared the hell out when the knife fight started. <laughs> like, people around here kind of know that, like, they didn't see anything. Well, I mean, while we're here, I might as well make friends, right? Mm -hmm. um, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, I I would like to look for some animals to eat. Do y'all have um, any livestock nearby? Do we look like a fucking frontier? Like, oh, should I direct you to our dairy farm here? Where Last we're all like- Livestock can be goats or chickens. I mean, the fucking horse in your hand. I am not 
and killing this horse. You didn't know how to say to your palate without taking this proud animal's life that fought for you. I'm not hurting this horse. Well, you're, again, you know... Because the horse already looks weak, right? Like, it's... I mean, it, you know, it, it, it leads a hard life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is not particularly well cared for. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I'll find, I'll find, where'd all those birds go? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, they're still about. I, they came when you called. I saw that. It was a nice trick. She's like, but explain to me how it is that you're able to speak the bestial tongue and still keep a face as fair as yours. Because for the most part, it's been my experience that it tends to come along with having a face like mine. And you again see her mm. sharp pointed teeth in just her eyes kind of like curve up like very cruelly and predatorily. <clears throat> it's the type of thing that if you just sort of looked at her once, you'd be like, well, that's an odd makeup choice, but oh shit, that's not makeup, mm -hmm. you know? But <laughs> she's uh, mm. clearly not human. Perhaps there's much we can learn from each other. Mm. Well, I didn't mean to insult your fine and refined palate, but I make my way off of the rats and the birds. I think if you were to ask politely, this fair creature would probably let you have a point or two, but who knows? A point or two. A point! <laughs> we drink fucking points! Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Where the fuck are you people from? How do you measure your beverages? <laughs> Meanwhile... I'm laughing out of character. Yeah, back inside. Mm -hmm. uh, again, he's looking at you, and he's like, <clears throat> I'm going to assume that you didn't know your ass from a hole in the ground, so I'm Old Smoke. This is my establishment. Oh, okay. I have some not insignificant pole in the area, you might say. Mm. So, to our allegiance, I assume you're not with those Bowery Fox, or you wouldn't have gotten into a fist fight in the first 40 seconds in my city. You assume correctly. And yet... Our average is about 90 seconds. <laughs> It's like, y'all just shipped in from Ireland, though, eh? Uh, appears so, yes. Uh, yes, yes, we did. It's an odd accent you got there, lad. Like, uh, can't quite place it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's east of Galway, like... He's like, I, I, perhaps the... It's the very the evening. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it's a, it's a long vast, it's a long voyage. I understand. I don't do Irish. It affects everyone differently. Uh, You're not there. <laughs> he's like, come, come, talk to me in the back. And when he says when he says that, you see slowly across the table a small tendril of shadow appears and just like slides all the money into a bag and he picks it up, mm -hmm. sort of just like tucks it on his belt. And he's like, Maggie, will bring your friends. If there was anything left of them, she'd have saved it. And walks towards uh, the back for uh, Lula. Again, you were not harmed much. Uh, do you intend to heal your injuries? Um, <clears throat> yes. Uh, make a Rouse check. Yay, I'm still at 100. Exactly. You all see, uh, you know, your nose kind of like <laughs> <laughs> just sort of moves back into place. Panda, you watch that happen. Whoa. Oh, that's much better. Hmm. How could you have done this the whole time? All of you, what? What are you? Uh, um, who, anyone want to give him the talk? I'm really not comfortable being part of this person's origin story. Uh, well, it, as it's it's outside. Uh, yeah, Valentine and Alquist are still inside. This is outside with uh, Reese, Vi, <laughs> and Lula, and Maggie. Uh, I, I have taken the horse to the side of the building to okay. have a conversation. Uh, would mm -hmm. you... I've barely even gotten the talk. <laughs> I cannot be the person who does that. Oh, oh dear. Mm. Oh, well, um... The, uh, the, uh, Kind of, uh, uh, was something special, dear. Witchcraft? Uh, not quite. Uh, sometimes. Uh, you know, this and that. But uh, it's a Venn diagram. Um, what? The, uh, we are not quite dead, but we are. 
And I was, that, I was like, re- recoil away from everybody. No, I'll, I'll just catch you in the back, and you will actually yeah. feel that I'm still warm. Right. It's, uh, it's more like, um, you kind of have, uh, powers, uh, not, like, uh, with, not unlike witchcraft, but not like witchcraft either. Um, but, uh, it's why I, you know, when I do those things, I have those premonitions, and I say this when I tell us what's ahead. Yes. Um, that's one of the dark gifts that comes with it, along with, um, immortality. What? Can you teach me? Can, can I learn? Um, I'm sure you could, but I, I don't believe I'm the one to teach you, dear. Maggie takes a step forward, and she, like, looks around, and she's like, I'll be back soon, but we can't quite talk about this inside, so I'll give it to you short, lot. Dear. Do you remember when you were in primary school and they taught us about the Garden of Eden? About the about the fall of man? Of course. Adam and Eve and the apple? And Cain and Abel? Yes. Well, Why are you giving me a Sunday school lecture? Remember when Cain was cast out east of Eden and all that, land of Nod and all that fucking stuff? Yeah, but ask yourself, who was it in the land of Nod when Cain arrived? I supposed to be four fucking humans, and yet a city full of people. Why? How? Humans? What else would a person be? Nay. Something quite different. God cast Cain for his sins, and that sin was transmitted from person to person, and now has landed on us. Father, forgive me. And we have to find a way to make amends with it. We have to find a way to live with it. And yes, as this one says, we've been burdened with eternity to find a way to make it right in our own souls. Find a way back into the Holy Mother's good graces. But I... There's a lot of things people will do not to be hungry. I... You can take the hunger away. Do you may already feel better? Make me one of you. I want to be strong. I, I worship the devil. Whatever I need to no, do. No, 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 lad. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, that is not it. Believe me, I go to mass like everyone else. We all fucking do. All right? Do they believe that shit that they say about the holy water and not being able to cross the threshold of the chantry? That is not true. I. Right? It's not true. I know what I look like. It has not changed who I am. Get out of the fucking streets. We're about to have a fucking war. Come, 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 come. Mm-hmm. And she very and when you all come back into the bar, it's like people are just talking and drinking. Yeah. It's like nothing happened. Like, you know, like six people were just murdered outside. <laughs> right. Yeah. They're like, oh, must it's a tough, be, tough part of town. Yeah. Must be Tuesday. Do you need me to do anything with these Miss Maggie? Uh she Heads on lo- hikes? She or dump them. Looks back outside and she goes, hmm. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And she holds her hands up and she just like turns it down slightly. And you see they start to sink down into the mud. And she's like, it's life that never existed. Hopefully they find their way back to the bosom of Father Abraham and a better world than this one. Misguided youths, you know, no reason to wish a curse upon their immortal souls, I. Eh? Ah, uh, they get to enjoy the light. She's like, oh, don't get me wrong. I've delivered my fair share to St. Peter, and I'll do it a fucking get in a moment, but still. Well. No reason to deliver them into the bosom of the adversary. Eh? Too many bosoms. They might have earned that themselves. Mm. <laughs> What's he got against bosoms? <laughs> it's coming up a lot. What, where are we? What are we doing? Come, you need to meet old smoke. And she very much brings you all back to the back of the bar, the saloon where you are, where you all find uh, Alquist and St. Valentine sitting with this large man. As we walk in and I see them, I turn to reset. Them too? Well, one of them. And they haven't hurt you so far. You're okay. All right. It's okay. I do come in with just like a dead rabbit because we won. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, quite, yeah, quite a lot of bravery there, day, oh, and you know, like Steins and like a like a mutton shank makes its way to you. I eat Me too. and drink. Yeah, that part is great. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. The bed part is yeah, like everything else hurts. Like broken ribs. Are oh, fun, it freaking yeah. sucks. Yeah. But <laughs> this, I, I get this. Yeah. I get this, and I don't know how, but I'm. No. Uh, Joseph, the, it yeah. actually tastes better. Mm. It tastes better mm-hmm. than it used to. You feel. I'm just, so hungry. <laughs> you're so hungry, and your senses are enhanced. Mm. Yeah, like you're more than what you were. This is my money now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, and they mm. bring you all into the back here, and you all see this woman walks in, and she's like, oh, I was cheating, wasn't he? And he's like, Oh, I was cheating, of course. And she goes, Huh. Eh. Wasn't any good was at it. Cheating well. He's like, mm, it was sufficient. I, it would have eclipsed the average viewer. Uh, and he stands up and he's like, mm, get on with it, then present yourselves. And you are. Uh, the name is Lou. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Mm, I. He just like looks at you for a second and he goes, no. What? No. No. Vi, have you joined them yet? Um, that's up to you. In, in as how much time you think it would take me to knit? Uh, not long. Okay. I mean, you'll still look beat up, but you won't look like. I just like want to get like off of Death's victim. door. Yeah, right. I didn't want to visit that house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is boring. So here's the thing: uh, you might get caught in a loop of like hunger and healing, though. I'm, uh, I've yeah. got the horse there, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I am gonna. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I, are you willing to risk potentially taking the horse's life? No. Okay. I would like to fight that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will say you do. Cause how much? Uh, how much damage did you take? In? Um, I had taken uh, ten superficial. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty beat up. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would say you can get down to about five without taking the horse's life. So you still will look clearly very injured, mm-hmm. but you won't look like a human who should be dead. Okay. But you will absolutely look beat to hell. Okay, so minus five superficial. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Mm-hmm. cool, cool, cool. And the horse is woozy, but it'll it'll be able to he'll sleep it off. <laughs> while while I was drinking from the horse, I was putting visions of the West in his head <laughs> and telling him the route, so that when we're done here, he can head that way. That's Good true. luck. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If yeah. that makes you feel better, <laughs> keep, keep an eye out when you're crossing through Oregon. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, uh, as you all uh, come in and sit down, yes, and then he looks at you, uh, Vi, when you do arrive, and he's like, "And you, and you are." Uh, 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 I'm Vi. Mm. And you are. He's like. They deny of clans where you come from. <clears throat> is, that, is that your name? Allow me to start it off. I am Old Smoke of Clan La Sombra. I have a vested interest in the peace and prosperity of the Catholic people in New York. Uh, Luba Castile, um, a famed Malkavian psychic. Um, uh, uh, we're not famed. What's a yeah. psychic? Oh, uh, you would tell the future. Aye? Tell me mine. Uh, but it, uh, it doesn't always work the way you think, but I'll try. Mm. Uh, and I'll, I'll activate permission. Yep, roll it. Yeah. And he's like, I So, your clan. Oh, where I come from, we don't ask. We aren't where you come from. And I'm fucking asking. <clears throat> You're not one of those fucking clanless, are you? Ha oh, ha, Mary and Joseph, I ugh, can't have any more of those around. They're just like, hey, I apologize, I didn't mean to be rude, but they're always underfoot, clutching things up, don't know what side they're on, which way the wind's fucking blowing. Oh, At I, least, I, I know what side I'm on. I just, there's just nay things, many things, as useless in this world as the fucking clan. Oh. Surely not you too. Oh, me. Of course I'm a part of a clan. It's not one you've heard of, though. It's a fucking toy door, isn't it? No. <laughs> he totally figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's like, only a fucking Tory do I be dressed like this, walking around like the cock of the hen house, you know? Well, I mean, I'm sure it's an honor to meet me. <laughs> when he says that, Maggie just smiles her, like, toothy grin, and she's like, she wants me to kill him, and she's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> this one will be of some use to me, he will. Um, yes, would you? Oh, five successes. Oh, hit five. You see a machine grinding, driving forward, just destroying everything in front of it. And you see some people running from it and they're terrified, but other people standing to the sides and they're like, yeah, yeah, whoa. And you see this man up on top of the machine is like, yeah, yeah, uh, whoa. And he falls in front of it and the machine grinds him up too. And when he spit out the other side, he gets up and he's angry at the machine. And the people that were uh, have been ground up behind it, that some of them start to like get up again, and they start to rise up and yell at the machine, and all the people on the sides they, they start to clash with each other, and then you're back. <clears throat> uh, first, I, I would like to make a notion that you should probably stay away from farming equipment. Um, Secondly, uh, there is, uh, there is someone, I would assume that it was you, because the vision's about you, uh, was standing on a machine in two sides, fighting and people getting chewed up by whatever this machine was that he was on, and then he fell in, and, um, uh, so stay away from farming equipment or you'll start a s war? Again, they don't always <clears throat> work the way you think, dear, but it's symbolic more than anything. Question. He's like, hmm, stay away from farming equipment. That's, that's good advice from a famed psychic. Hey. And Maggie leans over and she's like, Machine? Does she mean Tammany Hall? And he's like, fucking Tammany Hall? Really? Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Thank you kindly. You're welcome. I see, you know, I just say what I see, and a lot of times it makes more sense to the person I'm telling it to than it does to me. So I'm glad you're able to pick that up. Too. It's like, I, but I have the, the Tammany Hall, that's what I never fall in the path of it. I've never, I mean, it's just. And Maggie's like, I mm. never. Uh, I don't know. Uh, slipping, getting caught up, maybe. Perhaps just, you know. Mm. I'll be mindful of it. God be with you there, Loss. Uh, uh, yes, bye. Um, well, I was just going to say that given that we've already lived through this, because uh, uh, I know about Tammany Hall, mm -hmm. but would I know about Tammany Hall? <laughs> you tell me if it's something I would know. It was a very big deal in New York, but she was on the other side of the country. Yeah. So if, if you feel like it is something she'd have picked up along the way, then yes. Otherwise, no, because it never really, really ever affected her directly. Um, but I, you know, I feel like yes. Lula, you also, uh, how politically active do you feel like Lula was? Because I feel like she was kind of a party girl thing. You've heard the words. It was a political thing. New York kind of, you know, your grandpa was on about it. Like when he when he got into his cups, he'd ramble about it. It's, it's a word you've heard. Some corrupt New York thing. Yeah, but you're like, mm, nah. Mm, yes. Yeah. Grandpa would go on. Mm hmm And no. Mm hmm And no. <laughs> yes, Vi. So, again, I, w I would leave it up to you if that is knowledge you feel like Violet would possess. Well, I mean, because it wasn't just during this time. It, it was a thing that, like, moved on for a long time. And Same thing. It, it really hit its peak, like, a few years from now. And yeah. then it did the whole thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, again, up to you. Uh... He turns. She'd know it better than a Twilight reference. I mean, yes, because certainly something should, okay. should not be spoken. Reese yes. only knows this from Gangs of New York, <laughs> where it is mentioned. Uh, he's like, Gangs of New York. <laughs> he's uh, like, that does occupy quite a significant portion of our existence, which actually is the, the very thing I wanted to talk to you about. But tell me, what do you know about the Gangs of New York? I know about. The dead rabbits, of course. Hey. He does like sit and like, what do you know of us? Uh, Irish Catholic, great fighters, uh, contestants for the five points. 
Why, you know, I, I must say that's uh, that is an accurate description. And uh, Maggie's like, I the points, you know, uh, you all are new here, I suppose. It's good to hear that our legend has made it across the ocean to Ireland, but I, from Center Street to the West, Bowery Street to the East, fuckers, Canal <laughs> Street to the North, Park Road to the South, Mulberry Street right here, our turf, right? It is now, I guess. I it already was, lad. But they like to push the issue on occasion. Are the are any of the other gangs associated with hmm? Again, we're fresh off the boat. He's like, mm, I can speak freely in front of your gold man servants, eh? Oh, certainly. It's You're not supposed to answer, we're supposed to answer that. Although, oh, sorry, I'm really new to this whole ghoul thing. It's like, I would tell you a lot, even though, again, that was some impressive, dexterous uh, manipulation of the cards there. But to try there's, front- th- there's another threat coming now, yeah. yeah, right? No. This no. is going to end in a threat? No, I'm, I'm trying okay. to help you. I'm trying to help you keep your fucking head on your shoulders. Oh, thank you. You try that in front of the wrong person, they cut your fingers off. Mm. Who's the wrong person? Fucking anyone. Don't oh. get caught. Oh, okay. That's just a fucking life advice, lad. You know? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I, I have a vest of interest in seeing you, like, prosper here. Why? Because you're Irish. Fucking Irish Catholic. The meek shall inherit the whole fucking earth. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stick together. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's how we survive. That's how we've survived so far. That's right. Yeah, the the... Holy Father chose to place this abominable famine down on us because he knew we would adore, we'd survive. And we have, and prospered. Resilient. Irish. Yep. Just don't let those nativist fox get to you saying that we don't belong in America. America belongs to everyone, eh? They can't, like, exclude us because we're different because of what we are. You must know this, lad. I, I know that I'm different from everyone here. But I want, I want to be strong. I want to be like you. All right. Can like, you teach me? Or... Like my. <laughs> Make a wager with you, lad. Get one of two tasks to perform. One of them will be simple. One of them, not so much. Name your price. You'll do anything, is what you're saying. I'll do anything to not be hungry again. <laughs> you there, the small one with the voluminous knowledge of the functions of the five points. Mm, the one okay. yeah. Do you happen to know who William Poole is? Mm. <clears throat> uh, is that the butcher one? Aye. He's a butcher. A tall, lanky, vicious fuck. Make the way his stooges out there carved you up, looking like fucking primary school, nursery school. What's your association with William Poole? What is the association between a dog and a cat, between a hawk and a mouse, between a snake and a mongoose? I fucking hate him. Is this the Daniel D. Lewis or the Liam Neeson? Who? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen this I movie don't in forever. I barely got. I got really lucky with William Poole. William Poole Bush. Really. Okay. Sorry. Just sorry. Trying to remember We're... who we heard this from. <clears throat> he founded Tammany Hall. I did not know any day Lewis's. Old country. Remember, legend. It traveled across the sea. Do you know of this man? Uh, no. Your accent is a bit odd, but it seems a bit to the to ring of the people in New York, and yet you are, in fact, fresh off the boat from the Emerald Isles, eh? Uh, yes, dear, you're just trying to blend in a bit of, uh, working in a native town, you know. You're an actress, are you there? You, you wish to, to work in the stage performances? Oh, one day, I do hope. That is quite a skill. I could never master it. It's just a, <laughs> my tongue, once I kissed the Blarney Stone, it just was set in forever. <laughs> Oh, well, Thank that's all right. It's lovely. Nice to see you. Mm. Thank you. You're very welcome. I hate to impress upon you and your 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 wonderful performance skills and just cut straight to the point. 
And when he says catch straight to the point, Maggie just says, fucking kill him. All right. How hard could that be? You fucking all have, hard. You all have magic powers. You're witches. Just do your witchcraft on them. <laughs> do your witchcraft on them. <laughs> not exactly how that works. Is he of your kind or a separate extraction? Maggie looks at you and she goes, <laughs> no one is my kind. And she just kind of like looks at Old Smoke with the first look of real disdain in her eyes when she says it, when she looks at him, and he does not make eye contact with her. And she's like, but if you're saying, is he also cursed by Cain, I, if he were but a man, he'd have been dead years ago. And there's more than that. <clears throat> what, uh, clan is he? Yeah. Fucking Bruja. Insufferable bastards think, oh, we're changing the world, we're revolutionaries. Fuckers. <laughs> Although I, I do know my fair share of decent God fear and Bruja as well. It smokes like I, I, I. Yeah, yeah, change the system from He's in the system too. Pretty organized for a Bruja. <laughs> I, right? Hey, you know, because he's a fucking bully. He just is like, do what I tell you, or else I'm going to hurt you. That's the problem with those Camarilla folks. They're just like, I'm the strongest, I'm in charge. And Maggie just looks at him and she goes, oh, I, we do it so differently than that, don't we, Smoke? And he's like, Maggie, mind your tongue. Who do you belong to here, not Camarilla? <laughs> We're on the bound, so to speak. <laughs> and they do just sort of look at each other. <laughs> They're like, we're on the side of the people. We're on the side of embracing who you truly are. Being what you truly are. Well, As God created us, of course. Curse and all. Mostly God. Hmm. Well, at least we can agree on something. <clears throat> well, tell us where to find this bastard and we go kill him. Mm, that's what I like. Fucking initiative. And he reaches in his desk and he pulls out a map of the Five Points area. And he's like, he recently left the butcher business and opened up an establishment similar to mine, which was a slap in the face in its own right, to tell you the truth. But he's probably going to be here, here, or here. He just kind of marks mm -hmm. three spots. He's like, go take a look. The reason why I'm sending you a lot is, again, you're fresh off the boat, and why anyone's going to make you is the Irish. They won't necessarily make you as my people, quite frankly. Gives me plausible deniability if you cock it all up and get fucking killed. Um, before we go, do you have uh, perhaps any clothes we could change into? Any guns or any food for these? No, we've been eating. Yeah, we've been, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, like, the <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm you're fed. You're fed. Yeah. But I. Uh, he, he does kind of look you up and down and he's like, I don't think you can be seen in like, uh, Proper uh, circles, dressed like this, I mean. And covered in my own blood. Yeah, I... And other people's Yeah, I really need to impress upon you if those lots did that to you. Willie Poole is a creature of another magnitude. Yeah. I don't suppose anywhere between here and there there's some jewelry? Some silver ring? They look at each other and they're like, Oh Lord, he fucking died. No! Like, what makes you think we have such a thing? Which one's right Maggie says, I, 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 all right, as a way of my making penance, making my amends for the day, I'm gonna miss confession, but this will be my good fucking deed. I shall accompany you, okay? I'll, I'll help you in the performing this task that you need to perform. All right? Watch, watch, Miss Maggie. Mm. I'm gonna give you some time to. Talk amongst yourselves, and then we will we will set out here, you know. Tonight. All right. Right. Forthwith. All right. He's like, all right, this is America, the land of dreams. 
What better way to celebrate your first night here than slaying a nightmare? And she just like slaps you on the arm. And that's a good place for us to go to break. So we'll take like a quick 10 and uh, we Ten. will be back. So don't go nowhere. Mm. So uh, you all make your way through the streets of New York. And Joseph, this isn't what you were told. It is dirty and foul. It's an improvement over home because there's not carts full of dead bodies in the streets, but not by much. There are people laying beaten and robbed, their pockets turned inside out. Children sit barely clothed in open windows, smoking cigarettes, <laughs> looking at you. It's, um, it is cruel and harsh, and you, as you walk by, you see on the odd tavern or storefront, just blazoned in thick black letters, help wanted, no Irish need apply. I'll walk next to Maggie and sort of gesture at what I see. How does any of this get better? How is this better than what we left? It gets better when we make it better, Lot. She's gone back to her <clears throat> hood <laughs> up and like very much is kind of like walking with, with her arms crossed. But I mean, you notice as she sort of like makes her way down the middle of the muddy street People kind of look her way and kind of like look away. It's like, she's like, they know who I am. They don't know what I am, but they know what to do. How could you believe in a God that would let this happen? How, that would let you happen? She stops and she turns and looks at you and she's like, what else is there about? Have you, have you not read the scriptures? This is what it is. Humans, Mankind was stained from our inception. We're just the living embodiment of it. Of course, how else was it turned out but this? What else could it be but this? But I didn't ask to be human. I didn't ask to be in this world. I didn't ask to be Irish. It's a fucking blessing to be Irish, lad. Never let anyone tell you different. You're starting to sound like these fuckers here. I tell him. Tell him. Tell him it's a blessing. It's what you make of it. Mm. There's being kept down, you become tougher by necessity. It's tougher for what? No one would, for what's coming. Is there always something coming? Do we never get a chance to rest? Do we never get a chance to just be a person? No. But you'll be stronger for it. Hmm. And it'll be less difficult. Honestly, I'd rather be weaker and not have to deal with it. No, you wouldn't. It's not fair. Why me? Why us? Why these people? You didn't have to feel bad for needing a rest, lot. Even the Almighty himself needed one. But... Still work to be done. Isn't that right, I'm... Things are, happen out of desperation sometimes, dear, but uh, sometimes things happen for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. There are children that are dying, and you're saying that that's for a reason. They didn't deserve this either. No, it's not always clear. Well, you all seem to have a fucking idea. It's like I, for my part, thank the Almighty every day that I didn't hey, get what I deserve. <laughs> <laughs> um, as we're walking, I would like to look out for rats. Oh, they're everywhere. They're the size of house cats. I would like to occasionally have some rats. Snack it up. I'm going to have some snacks as we're walking. You're like, oh, buddy. Uh... Good God. I would like to do it not in front of Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> try, try to be as, as uh, conspicuous as possible. I'd like to catch Valentine in an aside also as we're walking. Mm -hmm. So the whole... This thing. Uh-huh. Is this really, like, 
can we change that's this? what I'm not sure about. I mean, I feel like if this like is why am a, why are we how? Well, this is this is Joseph's story. This is not our story. How are we in it then? Because we're in his head or something. But that's the thing. Is like I, I mean, Barney really thinks that we can change it though, right? Because like things that we have done have had effects in the world. Unless it's like you know a. Mm. Yeah, like no matter what you do, it's gonna things are gonna right, happen. Right, you a certain end way. up killing your father, and I feel like this is the problem. If this is like a prequel, in a way, the parameters are already set for what the narrative is. Look, gonna be. okay, we don't know, we don't know, but do we try? Yeah, but try what to stop Joseph from getting embraced in the first place? Whoa, and then if. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Let's do that. Then he doesn't have to be. Yeah. No, no, I'm I'm I am 110% with you on this. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we have to help. He's still <sighs> Yeah. Yeah. It feels so good. <laughs> okay, we got to get everybody else on board. <laughs> It does feel good to feel the air in your lungs. It is cold. <laughs> it smells terrible. But it's real. I'll rejoin the rest of the group. This is just weird to me because, like, last time I was human, I was super, super hungover. So this feels like a million bucks. <clears throat> uh, speaking of that, you... Should probably take some vate. Oh, okay. I'm really not about the whole rat thing now. No, not not from rats. I mean, from one of us. You're a little um weaker than you usually are. Am given, I? Given the whole not being undead thing. Uh, I mean, jeez. Uh, I mean, yeah. A lot of my ritual magic isn't gonna work. Because it's powered by my blood, and my blood is different now, I guess, for some reason. Which I still don't totally understand. Yeah, I don't get it either, but... Um... Well, okay, hook me up! <laughs> <laughs> and then I just, like, bite my nail. Or, bite, not my nail, my thumb. Alright. Uh, again, you feel the strength flow through your veins, which is an approximation of how you usually feel, but which of your disciplines do you impart upon him? Oh! Why? Because yeah. you can decide. You give him a dot of something. I'm gonna give you a dot. Give me a dot. What do you want? This is so fun. <laughs> um, I mean... Just pick it. Yeah, let's see. Um, oh, I can give you aspects because you already know how to use that. I mean, I have sense the unseen. Don't be too meta. Just give him oh. something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. In fact, if you pick something that's ill-suited to me, that that's probably even more fun. <laughs> <laughs> what does Vi pick? <laughs> yeah. For about? Um, duh. I, it's weird. Yeah, uh, I'm going to give him uh, uh, a dot in Protean. Okay. okay. I feel it. Uh, which is new just what I have. to you, St. Yeah. Valentine. It's new. You, um, although... As written, she can impart the single dot of protean upon you, but you can decide which of the powers you choose. And it does not have to be a power she possesses. Yeah. Uh, it's so fun, though. Joseph, no, yeah. look up. As so. you're walking here, you know, and you're kind of remarking on both taking in New York through very different eyes and really as many ways as you could possibly describe that both from what you thought it was going to be, what you've learned about the world in the last hour, <laughs> and this supernatural power now flowing through your veins, you realize as you look at each of them, like you can just feel something about them. The ones that are dead, you just feel it. You just sense it in them. You sense the beast that is like inside of their hearts. You sense that Reese and saint valentine don't possess it you also since the odd guy kind of staring at you out of a window or something or sort of like peering from behind a blind as you all sort of make your way down do kind of resonate 
with you still, more or less. There's more of them than you thought. They're everywhere. They're everywhere, hiding, all of them. Are we almost there? Maggie's like, I, I, we are. She says, Joseph, you have to understand something. We, Kendra is the word we use. Vampire is just as accurate, I suppose. The womp here that your grandma and grandpa told you fairy tales about. I need you to understand, lad, the fairy tales are fucking true, all of them. All of them. What? What? What can I do? I'm just a man. The one thing you can do, Joseph, is pick a side and take a stand, even if it's your own side. I, and she turns and she looks at you, and she pushes the hood back, and you see for the first time again, she is feral in a almost feline sort of way. It's, she's just like one step shy of almost looking like a cougar. And you notice it's almost like as she gets emotional, it's like her pupils narrow just a little bit. Like, they're not full cat eyes, but they mm. kind of come in on the sides <laughs> slightly as she's looking at you. And she's like, I don't have a clan like the others. Smoke, he's that La Sombra business he's talking about. You'll learn all that bullshit parlance for a while, but some of us have to stand on our own two fucking feet, eh? And the only way you can do that is if you embrace what you are in here. And she very much like, yeah. She's like, and stop your fucking whining about, oh, I did not choose this. Look at you, fresh as the fucking first day of spring. Look at your beautiful face, look at me. I know what I look like. I know what I am and I embrace it. And that's why I'm fucking strong. So stop your whining. Fine. But I'm not like you. I don't stand a chance out here. <clears throat> I'm basically unarmed. You must learn to channel. You, you uh, find it within yourself. You've seen such terrible things happen, and you know how wrong it is. Just let that burn inside of you. And let it fuel you. Become the hand of justice that you seek here. Yeah. Be the change you wish to see. Just for myself. Maybe, but maybe for more. That's your choice. Seems I don't have a fucking choice. You do. We all have choices. You choose how to react and who to be. Right now you're choosing to be scared and weak. I'm not scared. But I can't help being weak. Yes, you can. You're the only person that can change that. You could. You could make me like you. Yeah. Plenty of people can <clears throat> have powers that's not the same as being strong. You're different. Not on what circumstance made me and what I had to grow into to live through that. But I can see it. You're not like the others. You. You're not like the others. And see, I'm, I'm still standing. Barely. But I am. There are choices here. Don't convince yourself there aren't. I'm overwhelmed with choices. What do you suggest we do? Well, I think right now you've committed yourself to taking out some fucker with a cleaver. So that's what we're doing. If you can't think about the big picture stuff right now, focus on what's in front of you and what you want right now. All right, all right. When you tasted uh, her blood, what did it, what did you feel? What did, did you see anything? Honestly, it was just nice to have anything in my mouth. It's been so long since I would tasted anything and it was glorious. Your memory of that should be better than this. You need to think back on it again. 
What are you talking about? You need to think about what it tasted like, because that's going to determine what you can do. And we need to know what you can do before we go in to this fight. Do you sense the beast in all of them? You're aware of what they are mm-hmm. in a way that you were not before. I look to Maggie. What What can I do? She points up ahead as you all have been walking this entire time, and there's a large two-story establishment that is clean and, and well-lit. Uh, there is a balcony with people drinking, smoking cigars, and several of them have on those petticoats and bowler hats. And there is one man standing on the balcony who's conspicuously taller than the rest of them. He might be six five, six six, and about as wide. He's just a giant of a man, standing there with a cruel sneer on his face and an oversized butcher knife literally hanging from his belt. And Maggie looks and she goes, that's him. And she says, Joseph, it would be unchristian of me to lie to you, lad. So I will just say, you might be about to meet your death tonight, as all of you might, as I myself might. But I would impart upon you one thing. The world's not fucking fair. The world is sinful and low. But it will be as fair as you make it. And as you all approach, you all see this club is back against uh, docks, wharfs, gross fetid water. But you give Lula, as a native of New York, you're like, there's no water in the Five Points. Like, that's. But it's there, clear as day. This club is on the waterfront. I feel like this is another one of those weird memory things. It's just not quite right. Hmm. We're not in here in New York, Lola. No, no, that's quite correct. Yeah, this is uh, a bit different. The waterfront shouldn't be here, but nonetheless. All right, this is your job. How do you want to go about this? Well... In the past, we've gone in with a distraction and then tried to resolve it, showing off some sort of ability or some reason that we were useful. I don't know if that's what we're looking for here, but if we could create a distraction, perhaps one of you could do the deed, as it were. Well, this is your first time trying to kill somebody who's a killer, right? And he's just standing on the porch? No, I mean, he's having his cigar, you know what I mean? But he, like, very clearly is like... Come the, center me, of my good the center of attention. Like I, I would like to activate uh, uh, Eyes of the Beast. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, or heightened senses, actually. Um, mm-hmm. Vision-wise. I'm specifically looking for folks that are clearly protecting him. Or, you know, like... Up in the room from work. Because, again, it's sort of... They're out on the balcony and you mm-hmm. can kind of see into the room. There's at least four serious bruisers. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, everyone in there seemed like relatively tough customers. Is there anybody on the street or like in front of the building? Or Down anything? in front of the building, there's a handful of people that are out, you know, kind of in two picks. Uh, you notice over to the side, there is a kid. He's maybe 20 feet away from you, and he's sitting on a basket on the sidewalk and he's got a cigarette in one hand and a flask in the other he's maybe 12 years old Mm. well i want to go hang out with him (laughs) when you walk over he's like oh peace be upon you sir what's in the basket (laughs) are you new here he really looks around like what's in the basket kid that's a a fire plug sir Keep an eye on it. It's ours. Oh, okay. What's your name? 
but Tyson is my name. Mm, I bow. Nice to make your acquaintance, well. Would you have a bit of the hair of the dog? Would you? Certainly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's oh, awful. No. Yeah. It is the nastiest <laughs> onion based still in a basement, filtered through a dirty sock Ooh. swill wow. ever. Uh, yes, Lula. Uh, Lula's you, you gonna need to quit that stuff, kid. You're going to go blind. And uh, see if he looks like the child, if he looks like he's breathing or not. <laughs> he very much is a, is a live little boy. And when you walk up, he goes, Oh, hi, and look at you. That's your vision of heaven. Oh, hello, dear. Uh, so you know, weird. I could watch this for you if you'd like. Oh, no, can I abandon my post? You know, it's a very important role. But oh, the boss would be mad at you if he did. Hi. It's a, I'm a plug ugly. Oh no, uh, look right here, dear. I'll just, I'll sit like a, a nice young lady and lean on it and I'd like to possess him. <laughs> okay, he's uh, defenseless. <clears throat> you very much do. Oh, oh okay. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Um, and you switch into this much smaller view, Lula. Uh, St. Valentine. <laughs> oh, nice. oh, nice, Lula. Excellent. I'm going to go take a look around inside and see if there's anything else that's surprising on the inside and just yeah. kind of pretend that I'm this small child. Okay, how long should we give you before we go in? Or how are you going to communicate with us? Uh, I will come back out and uh, just sit back down casually. Um, my body's right here. Yeah. I'm Ma- just protected. And sure. And when I come back. No. Maggie like very much like looks at you and like looks at Lula and looks at you. Mm-hmm. She goes, for fuck's sake. <laughs> awesome, huh? She goes, when, when you're in there, do you do you have any of his memories? Oh, um, I don't know. Uh, do I? It's driving a car. <laughs> it's just you drop your body and pick up theirs. What if I activate spirits touch? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. On his dome. That's meta. <laughs> yeah, I'll let spirits touch work on a skull. Sure, uh, go, go ahead. He's got like a, well, he's got his flask. Yeah, you, you, you can you can spirits touch his flask. Okay. Okay. Touch it, spirit. Uh, right. Spirits touch. Literally, it, this right, is so I take I take touch. your hand and put it on. Uh, oh, you're holding. No, he's in his right? body. No, she's, yeah. you've got the flask and the cigarette that, that he was holding. Uh, Maggie really is like. Uh, you just can possess the youth like this. That's a that's a bizarre trait that you got. Uh, fine. Oh, uh, what would you like to know? Although, like spirits touch will just um tell you about all the bad booze that's ever been in it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, five, you say? Oh uh, yes. Is the emotional state of uh, just things around it? Uh it's just been hard. It's been hard. Um. You, it's difficult to breathe. There's coughing and choking and just a lot of smoke. Not just from the cigarettes. You think it's the cigarettes, but it's not that. This kid has been around a lot of fires. And you distinctly remember, like, the flask hitting someone in the head as a building just burned around it. It is like rival gangs were fighting over to control this fire plug uh, physically in that, uh, you go a little further back and you remember um, an old man with pride presenting this flask and telling me, you're a man now. Uh, he, yes, some of his memories, uh, childhood memories, of course it is child, so they're all childhood memories, but like deeper, further into um, childhood. Now, uh, I know where he got the flask. Okay. <laughs> I, I was hoping maybe it'd give you information as to names of people or whatever when you're going in the building so they don't recognize that you're not. When you here. say that, Mary, who still very much has been staring at, she goes, Oh, the plan is you're going to like send this wee lot into that establishment. Yeah. Oh, look at him like a fucking fish. He's a plug ugly. Didn't you hear him say it? Yeah. It's that he is really testing the limits of the patience of the Almighty by setting up within eye shot of him. It's an amazing coincidence that they haven't got to the light already. Uh, is Why, this... you are all new here, aren't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, you get the boy killed. Oh, I thought you belonged here. Yeah. Oh, no. That's not a, I don't know yeah, what plug ugly is. Is that like a lookout or something? I don't know. Listen to the accent of the kid. 
It was Irish. It, they're rivals at Gangs of New York. She's Come like, on. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize my life was going to depend on upon season. this movie. Jeez. She's like, I, 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 okay, okay. All right. Let me explain it to you. It's people that are just newly arrived in town. There is a different gang. They're the Plug Uglies, right? Dead uh, rabbits, Plug Uglies. Uh, but we're cooperative. We're allies in the struggle. And, and she lifts the basket, and you see there is a fire plug underneath. She's like, when one of these fucking buildings catches on fire, this is the only source of, like, sustenance for the water to put it out. So whoever controls the water controls what burns and fucking doesn't. Aye? All right. How does it work where you are from? Not like this, dude. <laughs> Fresh off the boat. She puts it back down. She's like, right, so it's that lad's job to keep an eye on this. And should it be needed, and the fire engines, the rival fire brigades come in, they've got control of the fucking water. So what you're saying is we need to start a fire. That's a very good, bad idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that too. She's like, <laughs> you want to burn down this establishment. Yeah. That'll get the job done. It might. She's like, personally, I'd like it just to see that fucker's face as it goes up in flames. <laughs> yes, of course. Is there any uh, groups of people or ladies trying to seduce people or such around places like this? I mean, just out of curiosity. If you were looking for the late, um, the nearest house of ill repute, uh, Maggie might be able to direct you to one, but there is none of it. Well, I mean, there's definitely some working girls in, in Poole's establishment. That's clear. Say, is there large gaggles of people that I could... Are you actively looking around Yes, I am no, actively I mean, uh, looking you, around. The, the, like, the center of basically attention on this street is that club. It is Out, like, out of character, I would just say club. the plan is what I'm trying to do is get a distraction going to the People can burn everything down. It's mm-hmm. not that you're an incredible horn dog. Yeah, I mean, just so everyone just is to be aware. Cool. No, I did this yeah. in, in black flag. You, you did just it's how you stealth through. For strategic yes. reasons, I need to go find. <laughs> I, I played a lot of Assassin's Creed, and it works <laughs> wonderfully. Exactly. Exactly. Significant party is taking place in the establishment. Yes. In the establishment. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Too many crickets. What's your language? Uh, <laughs> Alquis. 50 Hail Mary. I noticed you got your side eye going. Mm. What's um? What's your aim here, buddy? I'm just trying to find some people to assist everyone. I, I'm here for you, awesome. really. Alquis. Yes. And maybe some kisses. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing crazy. <laughs> I'm really glad that I'm still this small child right now, so he does not have to hear this conversation. <laughs> I think uh, he does. Ma- hear Mary it all. looks at you. She's like, "It isn't a bad tactic to send the lot in. It's just again, you must be quite careful. Your youth will not necessarily result in mercy." Mm-hmm. Uh, no, yeah, uh, you're probably right. I had just assumed that he belonged to the house and that they would recognize him as I walked in. But yeah, no, we were wrong about not, that. If we, that's yeah, not that the was case, our bad. Then I, I would not like to risk that. Dare I say, mm-hmm. quite the opposite. Mm-hmm. But what would you like me to do with him? Would you like me to leave him guarding this water, or would you like me to uh, perhaps uh, send him? Away somewhere, so we guard the water. What is uh, the plan? It's like, I, the boy, made his choice in the conflict. He wished to guard the plug. If you intend to cause a conflagration, then, you know, perhaps you need to remove him from the equation. It is true, but I would not see a hair harmed on his head. How no, far but... is this from uh, the establishment of block, perspective? Block, block, block and a half. Like, you can clearly see them. So we can... Uh, so... This is actually a good place for people of a not liking fire persuasion to stay and make sure this doesn't get out of control. You are not going to, if we're setting that place on fire, none of you four are going to want to be here or anywhere near there. Just make sure they can't put the fire out from this. Um, Why would anyone want to be near the fire? We We're can get into it, it a lot closer than you can without. <gasps> yeah. They really don't like fire. Perhaps <clears throat> this little one can actually be of some use, and I'll pick up the flask. Mm-hmm. This seems pretty flammable. Oh, we're going to start to make some Broca cocktails for this Broca. Uh, kerosene is the name of the game. Uh, I am going to go hunting soon. I'm excited. Uh, is there something else we could put it in besides that flask? It is quite sentimental to this young man. 
Uh, bottle is best, always. We know how to do this. We have plenty of bottles around. Yeah, bottles are hard to come by. What do we look like, by the way, clothes-wise? Because they gave uh, us different clothes, yeah? Uh, they gave you basically slightly better hand-me-downs. Um, okay. That uh, you are absolutely certain you are neither the first, second, or probably fifth person to wear. <laughs> Very high waisted suspenders made out of the thickest, tweediest material yeah, you can imagine. <laughs> but they are not like white and red, like war clothes, like at all. Like, I mean, you're fairly, you look like everyone else. Right. We're not wearing colors. Right. Yeah. You look like everyone else. Well, that is very much a thing in this town. No, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Not being cute. It's expensive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Seriously, though, yeah, what do they call Molotovs? We need to make some now. Why do you need to know their name? They, they so, burn just the same. Okay. Do you know what a Molotov cocktail is? A lot. See, that's why. Just tell it. Uh, we're going to get some of the rags. Going to cut them up. Uh, we're going to get some kerosene if we can find it. Uh, some of that awful m- moonshine if we can't. Give me your wits and streetwise, please. <laughs> Uh, nine. One? Yeah. You feel like you can cobble together enough to make five. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, mm-hmm. hold. Uh, you're gonna be slicing a brass in a minute. Back soon. It's a bottle bomb. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Mm-hmm. That's fun. Mm-hmm. Ah. You, you uh, again. There are various size, shape. You know. Nope, I faked being like, a brucha for a while. Yeah, there's there's, there's, there's no consistency of these things. You're like, no, that that should work. That should work. That's yeah. what that that looks. Really again, cool. I faked to be a brucha. Right. Uh, I'll take that flask back, Tandy, if you will. Hmm? And uh, Lil will stick it in his pocket, and she'll uh, jump out of his body back into hers. You let him out? Yeah, okay. and then immediately turn around and use mesmerize on him. He's like, oh, that was the strains. Is that... <laughs> or you're, you want to cloud his memory, though, right? Uh, I, I, yeah, I would like to do both. Okay. I'd like to cloud his memory and mesmerize him. Again, as a, as a human, he is defenseless against both. Uh, the mesmerism would require a rouse check. What, are you going to command him first or cloud his memory first? Uh, I'll cloud his memory first. Okay. Uh, I'll... He's like, oh. Aren't you a version of heaven? Uh, right. But you've uh, had a bit too much to drink, dear. Your flask is empty. I believe it's oh. time for you to go home. And she'll mesmerize him. He's so like, oh, I didn't think my chef was over, but it's true. I just need a little bit to wet my whistle, you know. It keeps me, keeps me vigilant. Uh, would, would you keep an eye on this? Uh, I know I realize that you're smart here, but he just seemed like such a nice lady. You've done a splendid job, dear. Come on now. It's me straight back. It's my grandpa's flask, you know. I have to, I have to keep it. Yes, I shall be a strange back. And he does, like, run away. Mm. That was sweet. That was sweet that you saved him. Mm. Now he gets to die of some horrible, other horrible thing like oh, tuberculosis. Or, or, like, being punished for abandoning his post. Yeah, that, mm-hmm. that yeah. but no. anyway. Mm-hmm. Well, when, <laughs> when you say that, Maggie's yeah. like, hmm, I can say with some authority there's some fate's worse than death. So let's get fucking on with it. What are you going to do? We have this. And he's not going to like that. You ready to go make your distraction? My debut? Yes, <laughs> I would love to. Uh, mm. um, do me a favor and don't die. No, yeah, of course. And it, it means nothing, I swear. I, Just so you know. I don't, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to, <laughs> I'd like to move forward and then find the lovely peoples. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Is what you gender? sort of like down for of it all. walk up, kind of the dudes on the front porch are like, what are you doing here? Just trying to uh, go into your fine establishment, wet my whistle, as you people say. I mean, as I say. What do you mean, you as, people? <laughs> as me, I, me say, me say this. <laughs> I am a little slow in the head and I need some alcohol to, to <laughs> so like, recoup. You have money? Yeah, of course. Show it to me. Uh, yeah, sorry. It's, just, it's, it's, it's in one of the good pockets. Are they are they human or vampire? Or sorry, kindred. You really have no way of knowing. Do I have my money that I would have on or no? That guy has money. Can I yeah, can I sleight of hand they, his, uh, <laughs> the right. five dollars I won in the yep. from cards earlier? Which I is, say, I say you took the money with you in advance. Fantastic. Right. Yeah. Ah, fantastic. Oh look, I had money. He's yes. like, Oh great, fucking give it to me. And pulls a knife out. Damn 
Pander. Huh? Interesting. The guy's in the front. If I give you this this money, do I go inside? <laughs> yeah. Oh, of course. He takes it and he's like, get the fuck out of here. What are you, stupid? And I say, yes, and I run in. <laughs> right. Oh, of course, they're like, up. hey! And they <laughs> will do definitely see the distraction start. Yes. Pander, the yeah. men in the front, yeah. when you look at them, right. what do you feel? Uh, I'll take a look. The faintness that you get from Reese and St. Valentine. The, I, I, I don't think they're, they're, I don't think they're magic. Okay. Hmm? You will boom! Ah, you won't do here like the commotion right. is. Uh, yep. I want to quickly, when I'm inside, to uh, gather as many ladies and men that will uh, receive me, <laughs> and and just kind of get this giant party going just around me, with me in the middle. I'm like, oh yes, yes, lovely. Oh, oh God. Well, then, <laughs> they all look like definitely finer than you. Like again, they've all bathed. I would like to recently. use uh, awe mm-hmm. and the mem- uh, mesmerize and. You know. You're gonna activate awe. Oh yeah, for sure. So you it's get a amazing. similar reaction to when you all went into the dead rabbits establishment, but classy though, like mm. pinky up. Mm. Yes. You know, yes. Uh, yes. my kind of place. Probably. Right. Yeah. Like, I mean, weapons come out, but there's less, like, cursing and things. And even the man that runs in, they do all sort of, like, stop for a second when the awe turns on. And they're like, <laughs> they're like, who are you supposed to be? Uh, me? I'm Alquist Alquist Lixir. I can't even say my name. I'm so excited. <laughs> you all see the ones from the front are very much looking at him. And even upstairs that you all can see from your perspective, some of them are, like, internally hearing some commotion. And you see Poole turns and is looking back into the establishment with his back turned. All right, how's your arm? Well, it's gonna have to be good. All right. Ben? What? What did you do? Take this. Huh? Uh, Eyes of the Beast. With no really. Mm-hmm. Okay. Light it on fire. The rag on fire. And we throw. So there's can a, you magic a, the light on no, fire? No, no there's, there's, a, there's, there's oil lamps. There's a street uh, lamp no, up yeah, here or something, mm-hmm. right? You, you can use. Yeah. You all should get closer. I want to yell shots and start making people drink and they're like, having just a grand they're like, they're like, time. They're like, what? what's the shot? <laughs> and I show them. <laughs> You've invented <laughs> shots. Yeah. And then I do oh, belly shots heard. as well. Right. <laughs> it's true. Shots. You've invented <laughs> shots <laughs> and <laughs> multiple. <laughs> 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 All right. That's true, yeah. yeah, classy. Yeah, yeah okay. so we have it lit then? Yeah, we'll uh, yeah so we're going to light, run, yeah. and... Uh, uh, actually, I, I wanted to try something. Can you Can you give me a boost? Um, yeah, just put your hands like this. Okay. Okay, and then aim me towards that corner of that roof right there. Okay. And just like give me a good hoist. Okay. Yeah, you're strong, right? Um. Let's try this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Reese should try this. Uh, Reese, Reese is, out is of the strong moving. business. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. All you right. got this. All right. So yeah. So. At- um. So I'm using the the discipline I got. Mm-hmm. Um. It's the one that makes you as light as a, a weight, of, weight of a feather. The weight of a feather one. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm, I'm holding one of the Molotovs, yeah. I guess. And I'm, I'm, so is I'm your goal a... to go up onto the, like, from a, an adjacent building from higher up? Uh, I, would it be close enough that I could jump across to the main building out of view of pool with, with on the balcony? Of feather, you probably could, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what we're going for. So you're like, uh, strength and brawl, strength and brawl, to like, or strength and, uh, uh, sorry, dex and... Uh, Strength and athletics, because this is very much trying to just eat this thing yeah. into yeet. the building. Like, yeah. Can I have a chance? I, I in the eat midst you. Of the, the party heart, I eat you. Can eat me I hither. Do submerge directive on a few people, or is that too much? Uh, yeah, I mean, again, they're humans; they're defenseless. So, what, what is just what is the directive? Literally, like when fire starts, kill everybody. But secretly, in whispers. If you say e- attack, or attack, attack. You know, that, yes, it's, you, it's you, yeah. something that's their, not... their brains would fight back. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. And what is Miss Lula Castile doing when all of this is taking place? Um, <clears throat> she would be. Uh, did, so did we need someone to still guard that? Uh, yes, 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 oh, yes. Yeah. And that's that's where she board. is. She is standing there, just kind of high, away from my face. I will say one thing you very much got, especially from the memories around this flask, is the boy takes his job very seriously. Like, I mean, it's important that mm-hmm. don't let them get the fire plug. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she, yes, she is indeed standing right there. But about how far away from everyone else is about, she? About a block and a half. You can okay. see it all. I can yeah. see them, but mm-hmm. like yelling to them is probably not. Mm-hmm. Well, although you've noticed, <clears throat> Maggie's gone. Mm-hmm. Oh, womp womp. Hope she's up there with them. Um, 
Oh, so after you eat St. Valentine, what does what does Vi do? Uh, well, I've still got heightened senses on. I want to keep an eye on all of these idiots. <laughs> uh, but I would like to uh, call out for any stray dogs or feral dogs in the in the neighborhood. Dex. 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 Uh, same thing. You can make your feral whiskers. Roll. Whiskers roll. White. Uh, <laughs> feral whiskers also, roll. Give me your Dex and athletics to throw it uh, once you get close. But again, was it your intention to go to the building and throw it like point blank, or just throw it from nearby, kind of in the top window? I mean, I don't. I'm not a particularly good thrower, and I and I, I think I like I like to be where the action is. Okay. You know. All right. So nice I'm I'm up. probably getting to as close as I can to a point blank spot. So when I when I hear stuff start to pop off. Okay. So you try. You go over to the the second floor. I can okay. just slam it on the ground like Batman. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm thinking. Four. Okay. Six. Six. Uh, to give me your decks and athletics. Um, again, it's like it's like the old Highland games that your dad would take you to up to Scotland to compete when you were young. Caper you know, Yeah, you yeah. sling it and you see like uh, Reese, this small person, their arms like a rifle. Like, wow. <laughs> like, quite impressive. It was before the game too. Respect. So, Respect. Uh, I would say with uh, four successes, you hit the front of the building and it explodes and ignites the outside in flames. Uh, with six successes, I would say, Reese, you can put it where you want. You can hit the front, you can put it in the bottom floor, in the top floor. You I'm, could even try and hit Bill himself with it if you wanted to. Oh. Because he is on the balcony. You know what? Mm, I would love to. But this is my boy Joey Panders day. I cannot be the one who beans yeah, you can. Bill in the face. Oh, you totally can. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't initiated. talk about it in That's characters. Ah, uh, uh, I would like to light up that big gorgeous shelf full of alcohols that on, on the they first floor or second truly floor? have. Second floor because he's on. Uh, he's on Bill's the on the second floor, floor. and, and he's not going to like having floor. fire nearby. Right. Uh. I figured that out myself. Uh, I got a tan, but it's a messy critical. Got it. Uh, St. Valentine. I got one. I'm looking for a chimney to so throw this bottle ten. down. You <laughs> hop down, and you're like, and you see, whoa. Yeah, is there a chimney? <laughs> a huge yeah. fireball erupts right underneath you, St. Valentine. Nice. Uh, which yes, you really you could probably just drop it here on the roof and run like hell. Cause no, I, I want see. I want to. Uh, yeah, uh, no, but they to... just blew up the floor that you're standing on top of. Like to the point where it, the structural integrity of the building isn't gonna hold. Mm-hmm. Okay, well then, yeah. I mean, no, so you very much. Be... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then I'm just gonna spike it and and, <laughs> and get out. Yeah, yeah, because no, you very much were like chimney, 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 chimney. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. 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 I thought they weren't in this. They're in this now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, downstairs. I mean, I have the weight of a feather too, oh, yeah. so I can just coast down with oh, yeah. it. No, no, you were able to clear out with the yeah. most yeah. beautiful hair. Right. Like, no, oh, it's like yeah, I you descend like an angel, perfect in every way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if it wasn't for me to see them, can I share senses with one of them so that I can kind of just watch what's happening through their eyes while I'm sitting? You there? can, but if you do that, you will not know what's happening around your body. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if someone were to come up and do anything, you would not know. So technically, would like would her body go limp, or would she still look mm-hmm. just like she you was just there, zoned but out. just yeah. zoned out? Mm-hmm. Okay. You don't like collapse or anything, but yeah, you would look very zoned That's out. A much better defense mechanism than going limp. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. So I, I got you, girl. Lula will intermittently risk it, and uh, occasionally she'll she'll pop in and back into her body to make sure nothing's happening. But for the most part, she'll be uh, watching through uh, Vi's eyes or whoever that she can see. Okay. Uh, Alquis, you hear the entire place <laughs> and fire goes up. Roll your unspent willpower, Alquis Lazier, because this is terrifying. Yes, it is. <laughs> Are the people killing each other? Chaos has erupted. Uh, you hear kindred are hissing and gnashing as the road strike takes them. And just normal humans are screaming in terror because, again, the fire front thing. is on fire. Also, the top is on fire. So people are scattering and going in all directions. Three successes. Yes. Three. Mm-hmm. Sorry. That is... Death? <laughs> no. Just enough, Alquist. You feel a 
quintessential existential terror come up in you that you were like this is the plan everything's fine and ah. whoa yeah. she's like it is not fine like at all like Fire. this was the dumbest thing you've done like ever like why are you I've done a lot of dumb things mm, right. this is the this is currently leading the league uh, you managed to you do not lose yourself to the road Shrek but like you've got to go like, you have got to go as I was say, can I get my toughness is already activated I think mm -hmm. right? yeah so I would like to just sprint out but like also zigzag away mm -hmm. like through the alleyway so they don't know see what like where i'm going so are you trying to go out the front or trying to go out the back uh, i didn't even know there was a back door mm -hmm. well there'd be alleyways out the back mm -hmm. yeah uh well, how... it's, uh, the back would be to the waterfront but you think you might have a way of uh, reaching it yeah the, yeah i'm down with that okay. water sounds so okay. much yeah. easier than fire uh <laughs> is you go this building is going up rapidly because it is like but the people ready, like ready. the ones that are submerged directive are like fighting punching mm -hmm. stabbing mm -hmm. maybe chaos whatever. is erupting Fantastic. You I just want to make sure I'm like look back my mm, two good. aggravated <laughs> wounds from the fire on your way out. Me? This oh, place son of a goes bee. up completely. Vi, outside, you hear the howl of things coming your direction, and out of the top burning floor, you see a single form flies and lands in the middle of the street in front of you. Oh no, you guys, I'm alone. <laughs> and he stands up and he goes. <laughs> I thought you could burn my establishment. Did that uh, seem like a good fucking idea to you? I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. I'm, I'm just guarding the oh, plug. Oh, you don't? And he very much pulls for that huge butcher knife. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, sorry, sir, I'm just guarding the plug here. I'm real sorry about your establishment. Oh, yeah, okay. Why don't we try that a different way? And he very much comes stalking towards you. Except uh -oh. I stab him in the back. <laughs> with my knife. <laughs> Do you run up and just yeah, yeah. 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 about snakes. <laughs> hey, run, run up and uh, strengthen melee. Yeah. 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 Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mortal strength and melee. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Reese, uh, when yeah. you see uh, Panda break cover and yeah. run after this guy, you see it. Uh, Al uh, St. Valentine, you also uh, see this person very much stalking towards. Violet, um, Lula, you see it also? Yeah, I, yeah. I mm -hmm. pop, of course, out of I'm, share senses at that point and be back when I'm, I'm just going to steer my way down towards, I guess, behind this person who was attacking my friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> do um, I see anyone? Oh, mm -hmm. oh no, go ahead. I've, do I see anyone else who's making their way toward... Uh, pool to try to back him up that I need to intercept. Like, everyone, is anyone else going to try to gang everyone up? Everyone else thing? seems frantically panicking. Some of them are desperately looking for the fire plug. They don't seem to know where it is. Good. People are running, screaming on fire. It's chaos. Then I will add to the numbers of the pool. Okay. So three I successes. We'll have a dead pool. Pool. Yes. A you, pool against pool. What do you What do you do? So okay. I had uh, he had come down. I yeah. was watching him, yeah. mm -hmm. and he leapt from the second floor. Mm -hmm. So he had soared over me, mm -hmm. and I just turned around, and he was going towards Vi while he mm -hmm. was distracted. Just come mm -hmm. up with my switchblade and stab him between the shoulder blades. You bury it. Yeah, in, uh, I got him. Yeah, you're like, ah, we win. Yeah. And <laughs> oh, win. no, no, no. Yeah. He just stops, and he sort of like. Rolls his shoulders for a second, and he turns around and looks at you, and he goes, hmm, "My shot!" <laughs> and hits you in the throat, Ooh. and you feel something snap. Oh! <laughs> and he looks at you, and he just goes, "That's a wound." And turns back towards you, Violet. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so my intention right now is with the feral Joseph, whispers. You are very much choking to death. Uh, my intention is with the feral whispers calling all of the dogs to attack him specifically and I'm just going to stand my ground looking just so confused and dumbfounded and scared oh my gosh uh, <laughs> until he gets okay. within arm's length and as soon as he's close enough I'm going to earth melt you and he's and you see he is viciously killing them like viciously <laughs> And like doesn't break, uh, doesn't break his stride at all. And right when he gets to you and rears back, you pff, down into the ground. And he goes, uh, uh, "Oh, that's not gonna be enough. That's not gonna be enough. You want some too, sweetheart? Let's fucking go." Uh, uh no, no, dear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not giving that at all. Uh, and she'll try to use mesmerize on him. Hey, what do you command him to do? Uh, drop the weapon. Uh, roll it. 
Roll your your uh, manipulation and dominate. Uh, Saint, I was from Saint Valentine. What are you doing? Uh, I want to direct my my descent to try to land near uh, Pander. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I can see he's in a bad, bad way, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. He's starting to turn blue. What happens if I if I give him blood? Does he not need to get embraced if, if he can just heal this? Can he heal this as a ghoul? As of this exact second, you are human. You're a man, too. All right. Here you go. What? That, that doesn't... What, 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 you notice even when you bite into your own wrist, kind of nothing happens. Like, your normal mortal teeth. Like, <laughs> it's surprisingly difficult. And you're like, I got this. I do not got this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, okay. 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 Lie back. Lie back. I'm going to try to help you. I know it's scary right now. I want, I'm, I'm going to try to make a hole so that you can breathe. You're going to be okay. I've got you. I can I'm help like you. I can help up. you. Uh, I got a knife yeah. earlier. Mm-hmm. I would like to do an emergency trick. Uh, you can roll your intelligence and medicine <laughs> to see if you can pull this off, Reese. Lula. Roll your great sure it's not dex and medicine. You're like, <laughs> drop your weapons. And he just looks at you for a second and he goes, oh, no, darling, I don't think I'm going to do that. And goes to swing his axe at you. And Maggie appears again with her knife right in front of you. And she's like, I don't think you fucking will. Run, lass. I got him. Thank you. And I'll take off. I'll sprint over towards uh, Fander. Yeah. And he's like, oh, you're that Hellcat bitch. You think you got me. Let's go. And the two of them start moving incredibly fast. It is very difficult to process what they're doing. It's just, kink, 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 kink. Yes. Two. Two? Yes. You Two. open up the... Two. You don't know. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. It's right below the, it hurts oh. so bad. <laughs> but it... it, it uh, 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 you're still losing him. You might not be losing him as fast as you were, but you're losing him. Get someone! Uh, now! Can I pop next oh, yes. to them? Oh, yes. Like, can I make an appearance? Oh yes. yeah. I'd well, like you to... went out the back. I know. I was like, but yes, you know, yes, I would make it. Yeah, yeah, you very much see this scene of Pander dying in the streets, uh, Lula and Reese with him, Vi coming out of the mud, and Valentine there too. Yes. Pander, I know this hurts, but we can make it go away. But you have to choose it, Pander. Do it. Do it. Can I embrace him? What would you like to do, Violet? Uh, I would like to offer him my blood. What are the? I don't know. Do I have to wait till he's it's dead? A, right at the brink. It is. It is. <laughs> it, it is an inexact science. Uh, it is essentially just before they and, slide off this mortal coil. And how close is he right now? <laughs> he's dying. You feel like you, you're, you're, you're kind of you're trying to like wait. Eh, eh, I need to time this right. Okay. And you all hear. <laughs> you must be like fucking medics or something. How about now? And Bill has Maggie by her leg and swings her and smashes her down onto Pander and onto all of you. Uh, you can roll your dex and athletics if you try and get out of the way first, or you can strength and brawl to try and cushion the blood uh, the blow somehow. Because he very much is swinging her like a weapon. And yes, of course. I was to say, as I make my way up, can I like the crazy people? Can I try to like direct mm-hmm. them? I mean, you could try again. It, even it, it, to buy his previous point, even normal mortal humans aren't fans of fire. Like I mean, people are losing what? their minds. I would be. <laughs> yeah, people would, are losing would, their minds. I would like to try uh, to get some of these people to attack. Cool, is what I would like to do. You're, that is probably beyond your power. Yeah, that's what I was like. I don't know if I can do he this. He is the law around here. here. Yeah. 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 Be. yeah. The thing called spark of rage. Wait, what do you... What do you yes, can I see yeah. uh, How much? Yeah. To, to, to do so what I'm exactly? Kind of I'm, Are you trying I'm, to cover him or get out of the way? I'm covering him. I'm, I'm continuing to be dumbass Reese Keegan. And Lula, was your goal Always. to cover him or get out of the way? Uh, I would like to get out of the way. I'm not strong enough to cover anyone. Okay. Same <laughs> oh no, I got solidly hit by uh But were you even trying to cover weapon. him or trying to get away? 
I don't. I think I was just out of it. I didn't know what was going on. Mm-hmm. And I got a hit. You're like, I got it. I'm ready. So, ah, boom. Okay, <laughs> ready. Can I just dive in front and try to protect Pander? Like, literally, just dive on top. You can try. Yeah. I'm just gonna so, so give me your Dex and Athletics to just try and, and jump on him. And Violet. Um, I I got um, four successes, and I am not trying to protect Pander. I am trying to protect. Uh, Listen. Reese? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're like, new plan. Uh, so you mm-hmm. all cuddle puddle at Lula and your <laughs> turn, try and get out of the way. St. Valentine is like, everything's okay. It is not okay as this monstrous man appears. And just, Alquist, you also jump on top of him and just, boom, a huge crater erupts. Like the mud and everything like splays backwards, like out across the street as you all are driven down into this hole and Maggie's broken body just like very much collides with Panders and everyone else's. And for a second, nothing happens. Until Joseph. I'm eating her. You feel the thinnest bit of her vitae leaking down into your mouth. And I keep going. Down in this hole. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. And you feel a power that you have never felt in life course through your veins. You feel strength. You feel fury. You feel alive (laughs) for the first time in your entire fucking life. And you stand up and you see this man looking over you, looking down in the hole, and he's like, "Mm, squash like fucking roaches. I need to come down there and finish the job. What do you do, Joseph? I'll blink over to him Mm -hmm. and I'll snap his neck. He's like, and you grab his neck and when you're pulling, he's like, it's going to take more than that. You fucking dead rabbit. And then I feed. (laughs) And I keep going. He's fingers bite into your neck yeah Pander, yeah as you're draining the life out of him and he stabs at you viciously repeatedly yeah. he's like i my only regret is i just have one life for my country and falls dead and i continue to consume <laughs> ah you stand up and you all are in a cave Surrounded by mist and water. And Joseph's pander, his mouth is red with blood. As are all of yours. And you stand back watching. Well, that was fun. You can see it's not fair. I've given you the tools. You can fight back. I freed you from your shackles. Were you you in your mind? You were seeing the truth. You saw what you needed to see. You need to act now. Don't think. When Pander says that, you all see Valentina standing there. You've forgotten about her, honestly. She's looking down at her hands. She goes, no, 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 no. And you all see a shape form at the edge of the cave. A huge, monstrous, terrible thing that lets out a howl of rage and agony that you five have never heard Joey make. As he moves in a blur and grabs her and looks at you, Pander, with hate in his eyes and is gone. She did not ask permission before doing this. Mm. Mm. Uh, you poor dear. Um, Don't feel pity for me. Feel pity for them. And I turn and point to the ten embraced new panders. There are ten new vampires slowly rising on the floor of the cave, looking around, bewildered. My brethren, today we stand and fight together because we've stood on our own too long. Those who have rejected us have chosen their side and will pay the price. <clears throat> uh, what price is that exactly? The price of being on the wrong side of history. Isn't that right, Violet? Uh, 
Uh, are <clears throat> still fight the good fight without taking. <sighs> if I'm the one that ends their life finally, then so be it. But they are left to fate. Well, you have chosen correctly. For I will lead you if you'll have me. You're free. Magdalena, the woman with the rifle, says, Hey, stand at attention. And of course, the people are. <laughs> Boom! This gun, you know, a huge plume of fire erupts up towards the roof of the cave, and there's a shower of rocks. And she's like, I said stand at attention. And they all <laughs> get, to, get to their feet, and they're like, <gasps> And she looks at you, Joseph, and she's like, Am I done here, boss? All of you are scared and confused. I understand that. But you will go and spread the message of hope. That's what we're doing here. You have the strength to fight for yourself now. You are a player in this game that you didn't know was even happening. You're welcome. Magdalena, show them who's worthy of spreading the name of Pander. <laughs> good, 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 good. And she goes, if that's all right with you, these are your children after all. I don't care what happens to them. And she says, all right, run, save yourselves. She pulls the clip out of the rifle and she looks at it. She's like, one potato, two potato, three potato. And they do like scatter. Some of them head towards the front of the cave. Some of them head towards the back of the cave. You see, she makes this big dramatic like, ooh, ooh, I might have you. And lifts the gun and boom, clearly shoots over one of their heads. And it's like, <laughs> but she's laughing like a psychopath this entire time. We've got to toughen up quickly, but... You've already been through this. Now, you're free. I don't know what that means to you, but I've done my part. Welcome to the clan. And I missed away. What what state is recent right now? Uh, hungry. And with a bullet in their leg. Can I move enough to catch one? You absolutely can. All right. And I won't be hungry for very long. They're kindred now. I don't care what happens to them. And I think that is a fantastic place for us to stop today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in. Season 2 is well underway, and I'm sure there will be no negative repercussions whatsoever <laughs> to this particular course of action. But we'll see you next week to find out. <laughs> Bye.